after Independence Day, it is, uh, well, I don't want to call myself the bad, but I am James from Red Button Jam Fest, and thank you for joining this random, weird, nerds, random stream. Let me first off by, uh, let me start off with a few little things here, okay? I'm going to lower the game audio just a little bit, because I know this game audio is rocking. It kicks ass. I just want to lower it down a little bit so you all can hear me talk and think. First off, I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Sofar Gone. He is making his way to six, 600 followers at this point in time. He is the man that is in charge who made this awesome overlay that I just want to show off a little bit. Oh, that's me. Oh, wow, wow. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. I'm wearing a Mega Man shirt. Um, so, let's get back to it. So, uh, that's a little side note, but I do want to address the, the elephant in the room, which is I haven't been streaming the last few weeks, and I do want to apologize. Um, I, I don't know if I said this before, but I am currently in a, uh, uh, back in school uh, for, a, uh, for a PhD, and at this point in time, it's just a lot of work. It's a lab report came up. My friend Tim from Arizona, you may have seen him on some of our other streams in the past, he actually came out here for a few days, and I had to show him around town. He went to New York on Friday. And then besides that, Katie's family came over for 4th of July weekend, so basically I played hosting duties for the last week. It's been a really, um, honestly, crazy week, but it's been a fun week, but a very busy week regardless with school, with a uh, friend, with a uh, uh, girlfriend's family. It's been just hard, <laughs> near impossible to even uh, play games as a stream. So that's why I thought, well, I'm here to myself. It's a peaceful day, and I thought, you know what feels so good right now to play Mega Man. And this has not have been the plans. If it was, it obviously would have been on the site. So I do apologize for the last second random cast of this. Oh my god, GB. Oh my god, it's Arnold. What the fuck, dude? What, 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 I don't see your ugly face in the camera. Well, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to show more of the game today. I know that, you know, in the past few streams, we have been. Uh, we, we have been uh, disenfranchised with senior face. Well, I don't know how you know the word disenfranchised. What the fuck, dude? I know English. Okay, Arnold. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, no, bit bad, Jeff Globe impression. Uh, okay, so basically, you know, I love the overlay, but sometimes I feel like it's good to just have the game front and center. And today, I feel like even though it's an old school game, I want it front and center. And don't worry, I won't cut away to my beautiful mug. <laughs> Shut up, Arnold. Uh, here and there, but I just want to do a little like, you know, a little call out to the game. It's question I know certain people have different styles of taste sometimes they want to see My face of all times. So I understand especially with playing scary games. That's a thing you want to see But I feel like today let's drop this old school game. This is Mega Man 2 a classic Like put up the music because this music is so badass and I will try to shut my face up And you oh god, I messed it up Dude, were you supposed to do right? Yes, I was are we supposed to shut the app so they can hear the game? I will. You know what, let me put this up a little bit for everybody. There we go. I'll put it at the bottom of my own end, because this song right here is so badass. This game is Mega Man 2. It came on the OG Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh my god, I can't wait. Guys, you can't wait for this? You can't wait, right? Oh my god, here it comes! Oh yeah! This song would be wicked awesome by guitar, is all I'm gonna say. Alright. Back down with the game audio. I have to say, I'm, I'm happy that this time I get to use the open broadcaster software to play Mega Man. Last time I played this, uh, this is technically this is the Mega Man Legacy Collection. You can get this for your Xbox One, your 3DS and your PlayStation 4. I'm playing the PlayStation 4. So last time I used the PS4 streaming software. And you have to really deal with audio. And the sad part is, this game has no audio controls. Not none that I know of. So literally, I would have to yell. Like, yell. Even though I yell right now. I know, but I'm, I'm yelling out of excitement. But you had to yell just to be heard. Like, I had to know that I had to yell so that my voice would not get muffled out by the game audio. But thankfully, with Open Broadcaster and using my laptop right now, I could <laughs> magically adjust the game volume of this uh, typically loud game at the default. So it's kind of nice. Now, if it's too soft, let me know through the chat. Yes, I do have the chat open. And uh, let me know what you think. So, yeah. Well, um, what should I start off with? Uh, well, you're, <laughs> you're definitely quick and bit, man. <laughs> 
Arnold. What? It's only in Battle of Once. Are you really getting to the sex jokes? Every moment is a sex joke. Wait, it happened, Jimmy. Come on, dude. Come on. Okay, well, obviously Arnold's out and about. Uh, Ray Romano's here with a good old joke. Uh, what's your joke, Ray Romano? I don't have one. What the fuck, then? Why are you saying a good old joke if you don't have one? I just want to get attention. Is it always you about getting attention? Yeah, I'm kind of like used up at this point. I just realized, like, in my existential crisis, that I'm just a one line man that keeps repeating the same joke over and over again. Yeah, like some people know. Jimmy! <laughs> You're supposed to cough before you say my name, Arnold. Oops. Alright. Uh, I don't know if I picked the right stage to start off with, but this is Mega Man 2. Highly regarded as one of the best, if not the best, uh, Mega Man games of all time. My personal favorite, oh god, it's hard to say, like, I have so many good memories with all these Mega Man games. Mega Man 1 was a game that me and my friend, my good friend for over 20 years, Jonathan, back in Chi-Town, beat together. And that was an epic conquest that, that fateful summer when we played the first one. So I have good memories of the first Mega Man, even though it's not really well guarded in the annals of game history. Uh, Mega Man 2, love this game to pieces. This is, where, this is probably one of the best sequels to a video game that you're going to play. And then Mega Man 3 is actually, I think Mega Man 3 might be my favorite. And I don't know why, I think it's just the, the, the slide abilities. I like some of the boss designs for the third one. And it's, I know, well I know, but what I heard is basically popular opinion is Mega Man 2, the Mega Man 3 is like the second fate, most commonly favorited game of the Mega Man series. So, you know, but there's other ones, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, all in this collection. And they're all pretty good games. I don't really play Mega Man 6 when I was a kid. So for me, this is actually like, oh, I fudged that up, guys. Don't worry. The other reason why I said I've done messed up is I picked a stage with one of these sequences where you have to memorize when the blocks appear so you don't fall to your death or get bumped off to some, you know, whatever. Thankfully, that didn't go as bad as I thought it was going to, so that's always good. So, Jimmy, what you been up to otherwise? Dude, just... Life. It's you know what's really going to be crazy is um and it's gonna make streaming a little more crazy too and I feel so bad about my I, this is summer I'm supposed to be streaming more but apparently this is not I'm not gonna be streaming as much as I thought but um besides the point what's happening in just a week is I'm going to Arizona I'm going back home yes if it, for all those old Red Button Jam Fest fans I'm going back to see Nate and Brian the OG members of this site and if you're new. You can follow us on youtube.com slash redbunjamfest to check all of our old videos and new videos alike. And you can give me a follow on twitch.tv slash redbunjamfest, which, you know, right now I am plugging because my overlay is not up at the moment, but it will be up. Okay, um, these things are going to keep popping out, so whether I like it or not, I'm kind of, I'm kind of fucked. This is definitely one of my favorite childhood games, as you can tell by the t-shirt I'm currently wearing. And the funny thing is I did not plan on this today at all, I just put on this t-shirt, and I just felt like Mega Man. Without even looking at myself in the mirror and getting an idea, I was just like, you know, I feel like Mega Man. And then I just realized after the fact that I actually have the Mega Man t-shirt on. Maybe the t-shirt's giving me powers, or it's giving, it's persuading me to want to play the game without me knowing it. It's, uh, it's, it's got rub off uh, little mental suggestions. Rub I'll rub you off. I have to see the hot lady. I don't know what that's about. So what do you do, Arnold? Groping? Outside of groping. Uh, fireworks. Oh, really? Yeah, it's good fireworks, you know? It's really good fireworks. Well, that's that's good to know. Well, I did for Force of I was with uh, my girlfriend's family. We did a good grill out, had some good food. Hope you all had a good Force of July, a good safe Force of July. Celebrate America's birthday. Saw fireworks and a fire occurred because of fireworks, so they were cut short. So yeah, not really. Uh, not a lot of fireworks. Had to deal with a lot of driving, but at least I had to switch with me to play with um, Katie's nephew, uh, Bra Butt Kicking Braxton. I call him. We played some snipper clips and not to sell the switch too much, but it was pretty awesome to have that device. Oh fudge, I messed that up. Oh boy, this is gonna be the next two hours of my life right here. I can see it now because I am really dumb. And there we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, fudge a dodge! I done messed up, everybody. I done messed up. You're also wondering why I don't have the camera on right now. I'm actually kind of wanting to stand. 
And I don't have a good setup for that right here. Like, I really don't. I don't have a good, like, uh, camera position to put this laptop in to have an eye level of I'm standing. I'm not a super short man. No, I'm not 6 foot 4, but I'm about 6 foot. So, uh, a little above average. Not, not, nothing too crazy, guys. I'm not the rock sign or anything like that. Roger the Giant, but, you know. I like to stay out and play video games, and that's a weird... God damn it. It's, it's a weird thing, I'm not gonna lie. Not a lot of people stay out and they play video games, a lot of people like to sit down. And, you know, when I do streams, I have my stuff with the camera, I have to sit. Which is normal, it's, that's both, that's the app, that's the normal thing to do when you play video games, so... I force myself to sit. <laughs> it's basically what I'm trying to say. And I just feel like standing today. I know that's some random ass information, but just want to say that. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get that. Let's get that help. Um, if you're if you're young and you don't remember Mega Man or you don't ever play the original Nintendo, I I I would strongly recommend it. Maybe because it's the old man thing. And maybe, the, the, maybe this game has not aged as well as I think it has. But I would almost bet that a lot of people would appreciate this game. Especially if they played a lot of indie titles nowadays. Because a lot of indie titles seem to be at least inspired by a lot of these old school 8-bit platformers. Such as Mega Man. And there's going to be a little bit of gameplay that you're going to see that's been mimicked, uh, mimicked by other maybe more current games. And you can come to appreciate this. Like, it is hard as balls. There's no, there's no school amount. This isn't the normal difficulty. This is still... Hard as balls, cause you suck. It's just hard, Arnold. Cause you suck. It's hard, Arnold. Cause. Let me guess. You suck. No. Cause you blow. <laughs> Ooh, good. Yeah, Arnold. That was that was a that was a genius. All right, let's get up here. This part right here. This is the level. I don't know why I picked this level first, but I knew what I was getting into. Maybe I would, maybe I would not have picked this level for the first level of the stream. This is definitely going to be the test. Of, um, shoot, it's over there. You have, it's a memory game. And then it gets over the lava, and basically it's, it's the death if you fall down into a lava pit. Um, and that's it, you know what I'm saying? So as you can tell, I'm not a speed rate, a speed runner of video games, because I just, I just suck. But I do respect that. There's a person that I follow, and uh, who follows me, and he plays uh, a lot of, he plays a lot of games, but I think Yoshi has kind of his main game, but he's amazing at it. Uh, his name is underscore tricks. It's a T R I X uh, for that, and um, he's really good. I highly recommend checking him out. He has a he has a lot of followers, but if he gets more followers, it's amazing sauce. I am not that way at all, so just you know, I would I, I'm recommend everyone other channel except my own channel. I just recognize that people are probably like, well, uh, uh, they're probably like, what the hell? I'm just watching you right now, and you're telling me to watch other Twitch channels. You know what? There's no competition here. You watch what you guys want to watch. If you want to watch my random ass play Mega Man and talk right now or play a scary game, then that's your prerogative, right? Just my prerogative is just to, you know, set up this microphone right here and play this awesome game for you all. And I said it before and I'll say it again. It's not quantity, it's quality. And I admittedly would say that regardless of if it's in front of zero viewers, two viewers, 20 viewers, or however number of viewers at a time, this is a case of the experience itself, and I feel like I have a lot of fun just playing the game regardless, even if I'm yammering to myself, and that's just the point blank. And I have to feel, I feel good right now. And not to sound cool off and weird tangent to bring up that uh, Mr. Silver God, but I met some really good followers that have done a lot of cool stuff. And I am so happy to see that there's a lot of people just, that are, that are having these streams. There's Buttery Coco, uh, ha has plays Pokemon. She has a cool stream, which has a really cool setup. And I have to admit, I'm jealous of some of these setups, but it's a good kind of jealousy. It's not a jealousy where I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip that off and tell them they suck balls. No. But that's the thing, like, you're, it's, uh, man, I'm really going off tangent. I'm really going off, uh, I think it's distracting me from Mega Man, so I don't like it as pissed as I probably should be right now, because this game really does stop the anger. But back to the tangent of Twitch overall, or the community, is there's a lot of good representation out there. And, you know, you have much better than you, dude. Shut up, Arnold. <laughs> I'm just pointing my finger at you, I don't know. Yeah, you, everyone can see you pointing your finger at me. Magically, you're actually more active now when there's no camera than when there is a camera. Yeah, it's just like I thought I'm not really here. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Yeah, wink, wink, Arnold. I'm here! Yeah, I know you're here! I'm really here. Right. 
And I'm really here too. All right, everybody, ready for a joke? Yes. So why do tires like to eat a lot? Why? Mamma mia! What? <laughs> what? Is that the punchline? Mamma mia! This doesn't make sense. It's also a good, a good musical too, with Abba songs. But still, that's not make sense. Uh, uh, Mario. I'm not to call Mario Ray. I am uh, Ray Romano, dude. Uh, eyes up here. I'm looking at you, Ray. Eyes up here. Cause I'm annoying. Oh, not a Okay. This is this is definitely going off the rails. I think the more angry I get this game, the more off the rails my thinking becomes. Playing said game and talking out loud. So I do apologize to whoever watches this uh, concurrently or on YouTube's on the Tubi Tubes, the YouTube Tubes, the Tube 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 Tubes. Um, so what else can I save? Yeah, we have a website. I might have a website again. Life is weird. It's summer. I'm happy to be playing this game. Let's keep working on it. I don't know. Like, I, I, if whoever watches this, I want to know what's up with you. Are you having a good summer? Do you have any big plans coming up? I have to say, I'm in kind of a weird existential crisis, regardless of being a school program. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of just like curious about. I don't know my trajectory, but at the same time, I don't know. And it's kind of scary. Sometimes you just don't know if you'll finish a program, and if you don't, or if you do, where, where to go from there. There's so many different routes in life. And I'm just kind of like that part of my life right now, honestly. And, um, you know, kind of taking this moment to play this game. And I sound like a crazy person right now talking about this, uh, trying to play Mega Man. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's me purposely trying to get my mind off of the game itself so I don't yell too gosh darn loud. Too gosh damn loud. See, god damn loud, Jimmy. I don't swear all the time. You just said fuck earlier. I, I, I did. You did say fuck, dude, you know. Just own that shit, dude. Say fuck, shit, uh, Maria. Maria? Maria. Uh, little Mano, he sucks balls. Hey! Ah, ah, ah. Da, 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 Dinosaurs? Bad job for impression, everybody. I know, applause. But yeah, I just want to know where everyone is out at in their life. You know, just curious. I'm really curious about my viewers. And don't worry, the chat is up on the screen. You might be seeing a pure video game right now, but chat will pop up. It will be on. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy. The last stream I did, I'm trying to remember. I think the last stream I did, I played Last Guardian. But one of my streams I did recently, it didn't go so well. And what I mean by that is technology-wise. I, I, I was playing a game called Epic Battle Simulator thinking, oh, this is going to work out just fine. And I'm, I'm, of course, still new with this open broadcaster software. And it apparently it didn't go so well. And I feel kind of self-conscious about that. You know, I feel bad that A, there has been a lot of streams recently. And B, some of the more recent streams haven't been as high quality, per se, as I have. And I know it's maybe a lot of hard expectations on myself, but... You know, I still feel kind of self-conscious about it because I want I want people to enjoy these streams as much as I enjoy playing the games. And sometimes I get kind of nervous about when technology doesn't work out and things like that. And I just hope that people generally just enjoy what's going on. So just like you know, I don't want to die right here. There's some part coming up that ah, fudge! I just said it too. Get me out of this level, thank God. Okay, I'm not gonna play this level for a little while. Sorry, everybody. This is not. Is not what I'm gonna do. All right, let's do another stage. Which stage was that? So I don't learn to do that again. I think that was. Was that Airman stage? I don't, no, that's Heatman. Heatman. I picked Heatman. That was Heatman. Don't pick the Heatman right away. All right, everybody. I'm gonna do Flashman because he's flashing his, his. He's flashing. He's flashing. <laughs> he's a flashy man. Is that all you got? You couldn't see you know Flash's joke man or something? I don't think they get that juvenile, Arnold. Alright. I do want to get some calls out though. I was really happy when Tim came out here. He's a good man. Um, and, you know, he does a lot. He does a lot. Whenever I do any charity streams, he donates quite a bit to these causes. And I want to give him a big call because he's been a really good friend of mine. Um, he has a really weird sense of humor, but I love the man. And we've been friends for an extraordinary long time. Me and Jonathan may have been friends for like 25 years, me and Tim have been friends for about 20 years. And that's, that's, that's not small tomatoes, okay? That's probably older than some of my viewers uh, alone. And, you know, so that's something I have to give big credit for. 
But Tim is a Tim is a beautiful man. Basically. That's the message of the stream. Man, I'm gonna sound I know when I watch this, or if I do watch this, that I'm gonna be like, wow, I rambled a lot. I should call this the ramble cast, not the random cast. Because this has definitely been one of my more rambly rambles going on here. Alright, so right now I'm in the Flashman stage. This one for I remember is not too bad. Uh, but this the for all those who don't play this game, no, I'm not doing a little dance. The floor is slippery. So add on that difficulty of trying to jump and shoot uh, precisely with a slippery platform and you can understand what I'm going through right now. Um, don't deal with that thing right now, but it's kind of- OH GOD! I did not mean that to happen. Goddamn slippery floor. Right. Now I have to deal with this guy with a shield. And him shooting out of his uh, belt or dick or whatever you call that. There we go. Let's get it. Let's get out of here. LET'S GET OUT OF HERE! Look at those blocks. Ah, uh, yeah, you know it's a flashback stage with the black side flash. Oh! Fuck. Damn it. Shoot. Nate, at one point in time, uh, fellow Red Button Jamminer, uh, wanted, uh, wanted us in these streams to have a swear count for me, apparently, because, um, I guess I said, let's keep this family friendly, and I pretty much broke that rule within just a few minutes. Maybe that'll be the next thing I'll do my open broadcast here. I'll just keep a counter of how many times I say the F-bomb when I play these games. Oh, uh, before I fight Flashman and probably die in like two seconds, I do want to give a little plug for myself. This Saturday at noon to midnight, I'm going to be playing 12 hours of Rare Games, Rare Produce Games, known as the Rareathon 2. It is a sequel stream. And during that marathon, yes, I'm going to be enjoying games, enjoying the company of all you awesome people, but the biggest thing home is, the biggest thing I want to drive home is it's going to be for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. On this very Twitch channel, there is a link to donate. All 100% of those proceeds goes towards research, goes towards the care of these kids. It does not go into my back pockets because that would be really fucked up. And um, it is it is to raise awareness and finance and, and um, finances. Raise awareness and support for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. We're talking about kids with serious ailments, serious rare types of cancer, and from someone in the science field, we need more money in our research and care of our citizens. And I want to really want to drive that home by this uh, stream this Saturday. There will be other charity streams, obviously. I don't just do one, uh, but I am excited about it. As you can tell, it's been a while since I played Tars games in a row, so I'm probably going to cry at the end of that stream because of how beautiful it is, of course. Or because my eyes are just going to bleed out. But the fact of the matter is, this Saturday, I want to just give a big plug out to myself, of course. Uh, of course. Uh, to myself. Well, I saw like a dick there. Oh, Chris, I give myself a rock. I'm so amazing. I'm not amazing. But the fact of the matter is, these kids and St. Jude's is what they're doing is amazing. And if you don't even have to do you don't have to wait till this Saturday to watch me marathon stream to donate. You could do it now. You don't even have to click that link. You can go to St. Jude's official website as well and send the link through and donate to them directly. I don't care if this raise that support for them and let people know. And that is what I'm gonna drive home as well. Um, so the thing about Mega Man 2 for what I remember is you, uh, you uh, with any Mega Man game, when you beat the boss, you get their ability. And it's one of those games of uh, almost like rock, paper, scissors. Some boss abilities pretty much can knock out another boss's, um, another boss real easily. Now, I could be cheap and have a little FAQ cheat. Actually, this, this game comes with one, but I'm not. I'm doing without that cheat or anything like that. I don't even know what this ability is. I just have to go off of memory and remember what Flashman would take out. Um, and I don't know. So I'm just going to go pretty much pick the next logical thing. Because Flash rhymes with Crash. And I'm going to pick Crash Man. Let's do it, guys. We believe. We gotta believe. <laughs> yes. You know, sometimes I like the Sans camera streams because, I don't know, I feel like... It's weird. I, I don't think I'm an ugly man, but at the same time, I'm pretty subconscious about my looks. I'm kind of like, I'm like, look at myself. I look at the, the computer and I see myself there, and I'm like, man, I look a little weird. You know. Of course, we're missing out on those funny little gifts, but, you know, if you guys want that, I guess I could put those in the little corner of even this stream as well. Um, it'll take me a moment, but I can do that. Uh, but, you know, 
Uh, sometimes I just want to go sad. This almost makes me, uh, for all those that are older followers of ours, and I know I'm still rambling, but might as well just call this Ramblecast, is the fact of the matter is, is that, um, God, what am I about to say? Oh, yeah! Jesus Christ. Um, um, what I'm about to say is, the fact of the matter is, this reminds me of way back, where I didn't have a laptop that was capable of being an open broadcaster. Where all I had was the Elgato, the old version of Elgato, and when I did streams, it basically was the game and audio. And this is this is the truest form to my to old, uh, what we used to call Throwback Thursday Throwdown streams. Um, ever is what you guys are witnessing right here. This is the, the essence of what the streams used to be. Now, of course, the added in chat, which you'll see, and notifications are little touches that were not there in those older streams. But this is basically as true to form as you're going to get to the old streams. And I like that a little bit. There's a little, it's a classic feel. I know it's a, bo it seems kind of boring to people. I don't know why. I mean, you're seeing the game front center. You can hold your, your game controller and pretend you're playing right now. Uh, I don't know if anyone does that. Does anyone do that? Does anyone do that? Okay, what am I doing? Oh shit. I suck. Oh, oh god. It's a, I got a life and some health from that. That was actually a pretty good transaction. I thought I'd done messed up, but uh... I, 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 I got that. I, I got this. I got this. Alright. God, where do these guys keep coming from? You know what I mean? They come from the aid. There's some sort of robot vagina. Wait, did I say robot vagina? Robots don't come from robotic vaginas. God damn it. They come from assembly lines. I'm so silly. Alright, let's get going here. Robot vaginas? Yeah, Arnold. What? Like the fish light? Let, what? Nothing. Okay, so... <sighs> Arnold, what are we gonna do with you? I don't know what the fuck I'm still here! I don't know why I'm still here either, Arnold. <laughs> okay, so let's get going. This song is okay. This is not my favorite theme of Mega Man 2. I think my favorite theme is Dr. Wily's theme in this. But, um... Yeah. But I like the stage. I'm a, I'm a sucker for the color blue, so basically just a blue background <laughs> makes me happy. It's the simple things of life, people. It's the simple things of life that bring much joy to my to my old, fragile heart. All right, so all right, come on, wake up, wake up, hey, 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 you, buddy, God damn you! I just knew that was gonna happen. I just, <laughs> I just saw that happen, Arnold. Shut up, shut up. Okay, so the problem is they get brought back. You go away from the screen, the enemies respawn back into the spots they were in. It's yep, this is the 19 this is 1988 for everyone on initiate. This is how 1988 was. I was alive, not that old in 1988. Okay, ooh, ooh, I, I, I got hit, but I survived. That's the big thing. And another problem with this type of game is when you get hit, you get knocked back. Uh, for better or worse. Again, product of its time. We're talking about a game that's 29 years old. God, I feel old just saying that out loud. Saying that I love a game that's 29 years old and I remember when I was young. Now, the game has been out for a little bit when I started playing it, admittedly. I, I'm, you know, I was barely born by the point this game came out. So at least I'm not that old, but I'm still an old bastard. You're still a fucking old bastard. Not as old as you are, Do you want me to kill you? Oh, no, no, no. Good. Now shut up and get me some more. Ooh. Alcoholic beverages. I don't have any alcoholic beverages, dude. You, wait, you got July 4th, you no alcoholic beverages? I have my cart's lemonade. My cart's lemonade! Am I sponsoring them now, too? I guess so, I don't know. You keep sponsoring everybody, you sponsor Jinjins, and you know, the guy eats little kids, and all sorts of shit. That's true. That's true. Okay. I don't want to keep messing up. I beat one boss at least, so I can say at the end of this, at the end of this stream, that I beat one Mega Man boss. And for all those wondering, did I beat Mega Man 2? I'm going to tell you a dirty secret. I got to the end of Mega Man 2 multiple times. Multiple times. And I have yet to beat it. I'm not going to lie to you. I beat Mega Man 1. I'm pretty sure I beat Mega Man 3. But Mega Man 2 is not a game that I have personally beaten. I've got to that point of being so close to beating it. But I have not broke through. And the reason being is, unlike the Mega Man Legacy Collection, which I do now have, where you could bring up this handy dandy menu right here and actually save the game you didn't have that back in the time okay there was no battery backup in the Mega Man 2 cartridge not that I know of 
And so when you play Mega Man 2, you commit to playing that game to the end. Because once you turn it off, that's it. And that's basically, yes, youngins, that's how it was with Mega Man 2. And so that's why I didn't beat the game. You turn it off, you get frustrated, you have dinner or whatever going on. You turn it off, and that's it. If you're wondering what that noise is outside, there's there's a battle of the mowers going on right now. Two guys are are with headphones mowing the uh, mowing my apartment flaws right there. One guy's got a uh, this is this is actually kind of hilarious. I'm gonna pause the game. I'm gonna break it down easily, everybody. Let's go back to me. Oh my god, I'm here. All right, let's see if I can get these guys. I don't think I could. But right outside that window, right there, two guys were having battles on the mowers. And I paused the game just to let y'all know that. That's how crazy I am. Oh, and look, this is the uh, amazing overlay made by Mr. Silver God again. And that's the game. So that's cool, right? All right, so let's get back. Let's get... Sorry, I'm easily distracted. Sorry, Loki. He's looking at me like... All right, everybody, this is a uh, question of the hour. Let's go back to pure game. I went up the same ladder again. What am I doing? All right, let's go down here. Come down, down, baby. Up here. Let it be known. I'm not gonna die today. Yeah, so this is a pretty random ass stream. No context, no, you know, I mean, I usually put these, like, I usually schedule these things out as you probably for her before. for. And I just said, F it. Randomness. I don't care what time it is. I feel like play the game. I got the setup. Let's do it. Fuck it. We're doing it live. It's basically what I just said to myself. And that's exactly what I'm doing right here. These guys are doing the Jersey Shore fist pump. They are very. They're very fisty. Oh my God. Yes, they're doing. The, they're doing the Jersey pump, yo. They're doing the Jersey Shore pump. Yeah, I, I should know that because I'm close to Jersey, so that that means I, I should know. You don't know. I don't know. Okay. You thought streams of new games too, everybody. I do. I did debate what to stream. And I know, I like, you know, I do have a Switch, and it would be the easy given to say, I'm gonna go stream a, twi a Switch game. You know, especially Zelda, which I just started playing. And I might do that later today. Maybe I'll do another stream or something like that. Or maybe tomorrow's when I'll play some, play some Switch. But I'm not gonna lie. I felt like Mega Man. And I know Mega Man's not a huge story-driven game. It's not a it's not a young game by any stretch of imagination. Even though I do have a lot of games I need to beat. Um I mean I never beat Mega Man 2, so I guess I got a technicality right there by saying, hey, I haven't beat this game to play. But, you know, you know, I definitely have some games I should be playing. You know, it almost sounds like a chore right there. You should be playing. But I feel like fucking Mega Man 2. And I'm playing fucking Mega Man 2. Obviously, right? I'm, I'm obviously playing this shit. I'm I suck. Okay. Let's see Flashman's abilities work with this mofo right here. This is probably, this is the big reason, this is the big thing about Mega Man 2, is you use your abilities to solve puzzles, get through different parts of levels, and also to kick bosses butts. Okay, let everybody, everybody, let's take a pause here. You know I'm in this hot pink purpley outfit right here. Let's give a freaking pause here. I'm gonna pop up on the screen right now. Wait. Am I gonna pop on the screen? Is that wait, where are you? There we go. Let's put that I I, I just realized something that I did it horribly wrong. There's the chat right there. Let us all get a moment to say Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. Sofa God is here. Alright, hey Mr. Sofa God, how are you doing my friend? Did you have a good fourth of July? I see that you've been I, I wasn't able to attend because the last few weeks last few weeks have been crazy with lab reports tim from arizona came out here to visit me we had to go to new york and all those other types of things and katie's family was out here for july 4th weekend we grilled and all that fun stuff fireworks set a fire yada yada i know i'm telling you my life story in about two seconds but basically it's been craziness and i couldn't stream uh as much as i want to and so i'm back to streaming so i saw that you were streaming and i really wish i could watch but i was so freaking busy but i want to give a call out to you because you're the badass and uh, I see you've been playing Crash Back with Insane Trilogy. How is that? Is it worth a buy? Which I think the answer is yes, but still, is it worth a buy? So, switch to the game. And I'm glad to hear you're doing good. Uh, the 4th was cool. What about me? Well, the 4th of July was cool for me, too. Katie's family came out here. 
And, uh... Let's see, switch here. Oh my god, Jimmy, get back to the game! Uh, apparently Flash Man does not work against Crash Man, despite what I thought. And I just wasted that. Anyway. We had a grill out here. We, uh, play- we watched some movies. Uh, her little nephew's out here. We played some snipper clips on the Switch. Um... And then we went to see fireworks. It's the first time see fireworks out here in Pennsylvania. So I went to see fireworks out in the middle of Pennsylvania. And guess what happened? They, they were only on for 10 minutes because the fireworks caused a fire. They caused a fire. And <laughs> they stopped. So we were stuck in a parking lot for about an hour because of all the traffic and all the emergency cars because fireworks set off a fire. Yes, that's the 4th of July for you. Happy birthday, America. Let's set the forest of flames. Um, I'm not making this stuff up, if I did. It was weird, too, because we thought, oh, wow, those were short fireworks. And we noticed that there was a different kind of fire on being worked on. Oh, I got the crap. I killed the- wow, I- I didn't realize I killed the boss. Wow, I probably should just ramble out ex ex excessively about what's going on with my life. Uh, that probably- that probably would, uh, you know make it easier for me to beat these stages. I defeated the Flash Man. Not you, Arnold. Flash a dick. No, Arnold. <laughs> Eddie Murphy! What, the waffles? No, Murphy. No. Wait. What? Oh. There's Quick Man. Yeah, like you. Quick in bed. <laughs> Arnold, don't let me smack you in the face. I'm gonna do Quick Man. Um, it's definitely worth a buy, Mr. Sorgon said. Mr. Sorgon says that Crash Back in State Trilogy is worth a buy. I need to get it. There's so many games I need to beat, but I love old school games, as you can tell right here. This is almost like a throwback Thursday throwdown right here, even though it's a Wednesday. And, um, I'm glad you're here, by the way. Thank you. Um, I, me and Katie need to get that. We need to get that shiz. We need to get Crash Back in State Trilogy, because it's crazy. What I've been seeing of that game for the last year or so, uh, last year, uh, pretty much was that you're going from an old PS1 game to a PS4 game, and yeah, it's of course it's gonna look beautiful. But in hell, it holds up. The gameplay, I'm pretty sure would hold up. And for all those uninitiated with older school games for some really weird reason, yes, Mega Man's still awesome, but so is Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot and State Trilogy is probably, it, it, not probably, it's, it's worth the buy. Unless for some reason you really hate platformers, or hate fun, or hate Bandicoots. Why would you hate Bandicoots? Did a bad queen in your family? I wanna know! I wanna know! Wait, oops. Oh, shit! Well, whatever. I wanna know if a bad queen in your family. Um, cause that's, that's the bigger, the bigger question here, okay, people? Alright, I'm in the dark here. And I'm sorry, Mr. Spirit, I'm rambling today. I'm rambling Joe. Rambling Joe going on here. And, uh, whoa, okay. You have to be- Oh! I guess only one life. Let's, uh, well, let's do that stage again. You know, I didn't have a fair, I did not have a fair shake at that stage. So, let's do it, buddy. Let's do it. You, you know, um, not to get too weird, but I am having a smile on my face. Because it's been so long since I streamed. And not to keep bringing that point home. I am probably about the home point through the whole stream. But, the fact of the matter, it's great to actually play. And it's good to see that everyone's doing well. And kicking ass. Okay. Oh! God. Okay, this game is fun, but it it raises the blood pressure. And I I I, I play I played this game before, but I, I don't to expect. But every time I play it, I'm surprised by how angry I feel during the experience. Every time I play this game, it's it's kind of like I feel kind of stupid. Insanity, of course, is repeating the same thing over and over again, right, everybody? And that's basically what's happening here. I'm playing this game knowing it's fun, but expecting for some reason that I'm going to be happy the whole time. When, at the end of the day, I'm going to be swearing probably more times than, you know, a truck driver does after getting ransacked by a couple of thugs. What the fuck was that? I just came up with that. That was really bad improv, dude. You could do better. I know you do better. You go to that Saturday night class? I don't go to a Saturday night improv class. You don't? No, you're thinking of somebody else. What the fuck do you do? I do nothing. What the? You, you just go to the... Yeah, I, I just go to lab. I, I really don't have no experience with this, Arnold. Wait, 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 wait a second. 
to his whole time. I thought that you were an actor like me, Arnold, and that we were both roommates. We were both gonna start a new hit comedy. But you're not an actor? No, I'm a Twitch streamer. What the fuck? Wait, you thought that I, you and me were gonna be in a movie together? I was, you know, I'm a kid, I'm a method actor. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna be this new nerdy rom com movie with this dork over here. He definitely yells out a lot of plays games, and we were gonna be in a movie together. Why would I be in a movie? I was wondering the same thing. You're not attractive. Hey! You don't have good charisma. Watch yourself. And you smell funny. Well, that's true. But still, Arnold, why would you think that I was gonna be in a movie? This whole year you wasted! Well, I was also on the apprentice, too. That's true. Damn, Trump. Whoa, what did you say there? Nothing. Anyway. No, not anyway. I thought we were gonna be the. I thought it was gonna be the new hit movie. You know? Uh, what do you think the movie's gonna be called? I don't fucking know. Is this how you actually. Is this how you got your career, Arnold? No. So, does that mean you're just gonna leave? I don't know. I'm questioning my own life right now. Maybe I should be playing these games instead of you. Well, I, I don't know about that, Arnold. I, I don't know about that. I'm just type out to Mr. Silver God. Much love for the homies. There you go. I want that to pop up on the screen. That'd be popping, y'all. Hopefully that's not too distracting in the corner. Let me know if it is. Yes, I'm trying to stage again. Because I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. Let's see what item number three does. I forgot what it does. Oh, shoot. It's a... Oh, fudge. It's a bouncy. There we go. Get that life, y'all. Get, get, I'm gonna get myself a life. Alright, let's see. Let's put the P. P for penis. P for power. Arnold. Um, this guy is known as Rockman in Japan. I probably said that before, but... I always find that fascinating, like... They, they call this guy Rockman, and then over here, somebody's like, eh, let's not call him Rockman. That Rockman's lame. We're going to call him Mega Man, you know, like, it's kind of, you know, you know. I don't know what you mean anymore. I don't, I don't know what I mean anymore either. All right, I mean, all the cool shiz on the right side, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, Lord help us if I was a speed speedrunner on these games, because my record would be, like, plus 20 hours to a person that has 20 minutes. Um, I guess if you do invest yourself to speedrunning, that's a thing. You know, like, underscore tricks, uh, does for Roshi Island and stuff like that. Like, I, 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 I just, I don't, I don't roll like that. I wish I could. I wish I was badass enough to say, like, hey, I'm an MLG StarCraft player. Watch me own this guy as Protoss. But that's not gonna happen. But it's fine. No, it's not fine. It's not fine? No, it's not. you got to be the best in everything. Look at me. You think I got here into your room by not being the best? Wait, now I feel like a loser by saying that. Yes, Arnold. I do. But I still love you, Arnold. I still love you. All right. All right. Let's get. Let's get. Uh. Let's get going. Here. Rare thought two. This Saturday, twelve hours for the kids. St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. Yes, mini plug again. Just want to let everyone know that. 12 rare games, 12 hours. Uh, not 12 hours a piece or else I'll be dead. But an hour per game, it's happening. Or roughly an hour per game. Happening this Saturday, starting at noon time. Noon Eastern time, I should clarify, which is uh, 9 p.m. 9, <laughs> 9 p.m. 9 a.m. Pacific time. So if you're, the, if you're in the West Coast, it'll be like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And if you're in the Far East Coast, we're talking about noon to midnight. I'm in the west. I'm in the east coast, so I'm the one that's going to midnight. Okay, everybody, that's that's really what's gonna happen. Uh, and if you're in England, like some, this guy, you know, the, you know, then you gotta gauge for time. <laughs> I don't know British time off the top of my head. I should. I. I have to say though, I do feel cherished with the people that do watch these uh, streams and people that do follow me because they come from all different parts of the world. I think that's what like amazed me almost was finding out that I had a, a fan like freaking UK and in the Netherlands and not to keep rattling on incessantly about this stuff, but it's just amazing how far Twitch could reach out. And there's a lot of really cool people out there, a lot of cool streamers out there. Of course, Mr. Forgot 516 for example, hello! Um, 
give them all the plugs in the world I can. But I'd say that it just it's just interesting. You know, just God dang, I suck at this game. Man. Yikes. Youch. Dang. Alright, let's kill this guy. Let's go through. Kill this guy too. You got the little eyebrows. Little eyeballs. I know it wasn't for these guys. The only big thing about them is when you kill them, they the lights go out. That's basically it. So just keep jumping and go forward. That's all you need to do. It's not that scary. There's nothing coming out in the dark for you. No Freddy Krueger going to pop out and, you know, slash up Mega Man. That's not the type of game that we're in. Oh, fudge. I don't want to fall too much into his beams. All right, let's, let's, uh... Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Sonic. Oh, I got the life! Oh! Okay. All right. This is the decision. I'm gonna go again. I am gonna go again. If I fail one more time, I'll pick another boss to spice up our love life. But um, I just cannot. I cannot let myself be defeated right now by this stage. This is not. This is not a thing. This is not a thing. Oh, I got a message on the phone. I wonder who it is. Is it my ma? Is it my ma, everybody? I'm asking you. Oh, it's my, it's, it's Katie, everybody. Katie is, <laughs> Katie. All right, let's switch. Let's get on here. Katie's on the phone. So let's, uh, let's see what's going on here with Katie. She is tired. How are you? I'm going to let her know. I am doing great. Just twitching. If I said that, did you think, maybe she'd think I'm like on the floor twitching. We'll find out. All right. Enough gloating. Say what? Yes. All right. Down this phone goes. To the to the depths of hell with you, phone. All right. We're taking a little moment of reprieve so you get to see my scary, scary face, scary nerdy face for a little bit here. And let's get back to that game right there. We're switching up. Yes, we're switching back. Pew, pew. All right. What are those noises? I don't know if I said this story, like, we're bringing up Katie, but apparently I have the weirdest goddamn dreams, and I say things in my sleep that I don't know about. So you never shut up. I guess I never shut up. God, what the fuck, dude? So God, I think we're both gonna be actors, and you can't shut the fuck up! I can't shut the fuck up, Arnold. It's a true thing. I feel bad for Katie. So basically, Katie tells me, and I don't know. I don't remember these dreams at all. But apparently, uh, one time she woke up at night, and she heard me say the following, and I repeat, I kid you not. So she told me I said. She could be lying to me. But I trust Katie. Much, much trust for the Red Button Army. And very much trust for the Katie. For the Katalicious. Okay. Um, and for her say that, you know, that, that that's what I said one night. It scares me. Okay. The fact of the matter is, basically, I thought I was Pikachu apparently one time. I wish I remember this dream. I want to, I want to remember my first person Pikachu. P FPP, they call it. The fan, the cooler kids call it FPP, first person Pikachu experience. I want to remember that experience. I don't remember that. All I get is the fact that I get to make my girlfriend laugh in bed, and that's all I got out of it, and I don't remember a thing about my Pikachu experience. Okay? Yes, I bring up that. I don't care. This is the this is the Ramble cast, okay? We're gonna call this not the random cast, but the Ramble cast. I get the ramble on and on and on. God damn it, please help me. Everybody help me! You! You can help me! What the f- God, Arnold! What? I keep dying, Arnold! Yes, you keep dying, because you suck! I know I suck, but still! There's no easy switch, dude. This is Mega Man, okay? Even I know Mega Man is a Mega Man! Maybe not as mega as me, because I'm the Mega Mega Man, but still, because he's the Mega Man. That's right, Arnold. That's right. So, uh, does everyone really matter to put on any of this stuff? No. No. Really? Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, not the bad jump roll impression. Ah, uh, ah, uh, shut up, right? God dang, I'm dead. I'm dead. Thank you, Mr. Silvergon, for the the hearts. The hearty hearts. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm putting pure game in, it's because A, I'm, I feel like a little throwback to Thursday throwdown format in a weird way, but B, not to scare the kids because my face, and C, your overlay kicks ass, don't get me wrong. But one thing I want to say 
is I like the stand. <laughs> I have no camera to, no standing camera just yet. I need that. James needs a standing camera. I need a cinematographer for my Twitch. Oh my god. I'm not dying on the, 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 the early, the early beams. This is, this is sad. Someone in Japan right now that's watching this. I don't know why someone in Japan, but someone, everyone in the world is laughing at this. Yes. <laughs> oh god. Ah, hey, no. Okay, let's, uh, okay, seriously? No, I'm not dying. Seriously, I did pass this level before. I nearly beat this game before. I know that I can pass this level. This is not, this is, this is preordained stars! Oh my god. Okay, seriously? Seriously? Uh, uh, ooh, what's the... Oh god. Uh, Alright, my laptop's on 23% battery. We're good, everybody. Okay, let's do this. Okay, he's probably gonna be like, What? You twitch without me? And I'm gonna be like, I'll twitch without you, girl. And she's going to not kill She's not gonna kill me. Heck, I was hosting the last few weeks. I was on host duty. Host duty is great. Don't get me wrong. I love to see my friend Tim. I love to see Katie Sam. They're actually really cool peeps and they love to play video games. Nothing wrong with her family. But man, is exhausted. That almost as exhausted as this is you right now. Yes, it is. Gosh. Game over. Game over. Make yourself more competitive. Sorry, I'm. This is also why I don't have the camera, so you guys don't see my hidden, uh, hidden, hidden, uh, phone messages here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, enough of that. Get, get away from me, phone. We're gonna try a different stage. Quick, man. I'm not fast enough just yet, but we will get back to you, you son of a, son of a bitch. Uh, let's go to Woodman, because I got wood. Ha! Yeah. Get it? I got wood. Mr. Smurga asked the pivotal question Is Rarathon 2 still for Saturday? My friend. My good friend. I'll do another quick plug and say yes, it is. This Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, which is noon Eastern. Through midnight, 12 hours, one hour, oh, about, about one hour piece, we're going to be playing Rare Produce Games to raise support and awareness for a great cause, St. Jude Children's Hospital. And I want to say that the, the link is still on the site. It will be more prevalent, of course, during the marathon itself. But 100% proceeds go to this great cause to help kids with some serious issues, to help research into some very serious diseases. Well, cancer predominantly, and that is what we need to all look into. And if you don't feel if you don't feel good for some weird reason, you can go to the official site. Donate. I don't care. Just donate if you can. If you can't, I understand. I'm not telling you guys to say to give away all your money. All right. If you give, if you give away all your money, I mean that's 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 it. That's good. That's cool. That, you do you, boo boo. You're rambling again. I am rambling again. But yes, it's still on the Saturday, Mr. Supergon. I hope uh, we could be in for it. It'd be me. And since I'm in Pennsylvania, I'm not going to see uh, Nate and uh, Brian until a week from now. Officially a week, I'll be back in Arizona. Um, which is another point entirely. But it would be me and uh, Katie and Arnold and Ray Romano. Hey, you want me to come? Yes. But I can't. Well then, fuck you, Ray. Maybe even Titzella will come. Any of will kill Titzella. That's right. Really old callback. Ah, Titzella! Oh no! It's for some magical reason she pops up as I mentioned her name. Titzella! It's a fifty-story tit. Watch out, everybody! Oh my God! I'm back at my face. Whoa! Get that tit out of your face, Titzella! No! No! I can't show the camera footage! It's too much to 
it for the camera! That's suffocating! Oh my god! Don't oh, be oh, Eddie Murphy! Eddie Murphy! Oh my god, Eddie Murphy's on to the tin right now! Thank you, Eddie Murphy! Oh, oh my god! Oh god, hopefully it's over not come for what I thought too. Oh, whew. Alright, back to the game. <laughs> I am, I, I'm happy that you cannot wait, Mr. Silvercon. <laughs> wait, so a big huge stick came and crashed into your apartment. Eddie Murphy just went out and suckled it. You're totally fine two seconds later. Yes. You know that's not a normal response, right? Also, yes. Now back to Mega Man! Oh my god. Wicked, wicked, wow. Maybe even DJ Red Puddits will be there. I haven't seen that guy for a while. You know, with his little carver box, his little beat box, and his terrible raps, and his wankstery ways. I don't know. He had a stream, and then he disappeared for a while. Why are you talking about random characters? I don't know. Are you- you're really getting really weirdly, really, like, existential and, you know, almost like you're telling stories like you're gonna die or something. I'm not gonna die. Now, I'm not gonna- I mean, well, we will all eventually die. I mean, morbid thought, but, you know. But I- I feel like- uh, okay, let's continue this morbid thought. If I were to die- Okay, fuck this bat! <laughs> I don't know why I kept going up, though. What am I expecting? Okay, wait, what? Whoa, I, I accidentally keep pressing the touchpad button, everyone, if you're wondering. This is the Mega Man Legacy Collection for the PS4. Um, if I die, I want to be a badass death. I want to be like karate chopping off Mecha Hitler's head. Never gonna happen. And that's like, the world's gonna be like, oh crap, there's that James guy. Yeah. Alright, so a few more plugs. Um,. Just so everyone knows, outside of Marathon 2, what's going to happen uh, next Wednesday is I'm going to be back in Arizona. I will try to bring some sh my stream equipment with me so we can still stream. Um, and what I, will, I also want to bring up is that in two weeks, I'm going to be going to San Diego this Thursday through uh, Thursday through Sunday in a few weeks, uh, at 20th through the 23rd, uh, Comic-Con. San Diego Comic-Con is happening. And yes, this is going to be crazy, but I am going to be there. Now, I don't have the best equipment. I don't have my own panel yet or anything like that, but I'm going to try on youtube.com slash red button jam fest. Uh, I'm going to try to post some videos, maybe some bits. If I can even get a celebrity for interview, which probably is not going to happen, but if it does happen, I will I will get that up on our channel um, and uh, we'll hopefully get some uh, really interesting new content outside of just video games up. So please pay attention in a couple weeks for some really cool content, I hope, coming your way. Um, also... Uh, what else? What else could I be? What else could I say right now? Except Rarathon 2 and that. I guess that's really the big, big things coming up um, right now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Did I do that? Did I do that? God, that's that's a bad oracle. I'm a, I apologize. That was a terrible oracle, everybody. That was a terrible oracle. Get out of here, jerk. Oh my god, I'm dead. It's game over, man! Game over! What are you gonna do? I'm gonna try Woodman stage again, because I'm not gonna be conquered by the wood. No way, sir. Mr. Silvergon asks James, because that's my name, everybody. James, are you on Android or iOS? I am in the Android verse. I don't have a hate for Apple, but I have a Android-based phone. It's an old, old Samsung Galaxy. Emphasis on the old part of it. Um, because you know what? As much as I keep up with gaming technology, every other bit of technology I pretty much almost just, I just dropped the ball on. And, uh, well, I guess more recently I don't, I didn't, I don't have the ball dropped on the laptop end. <laughs> no. Uh, but I'm on Android. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Okay, so this this fire is this this fire is intense. All right, last three here. My neighbors are probably wondering what the hell is going on there with the titzel, and I'm gonna probably have to be quiet because. Oh, there we go. 
There we go. I don't know why I'm whispering, but that's what happened. <laughs> Heard a door open up, I'm like really self-conscious, like, oh my god, I hope no one busts in here. Are you twitching again? Yes, I'm twitching. What are you doing? I have my own Twitch stream going on here. I'm playing baseball. I don't know if anyone plays baseball on Twitch. I mean, well, maybe baseball games, but... Maybe I should, I maybe I should be a first there. Maybe I should just, like, Twitch stream on, um... On, um... Foot sport games. You could just, I just do a GoPro or something like that. You can watch me fail. Um, Mr. Silver God says, reason I ask is because on iOS we got a... There's a Twitch update for the iOS. About a week ago that allows us to stream to Twitch from our phones. I think you'll get it soon. In real life streams from Comic-Con. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Ah. Well, that's pretty dope. So, basically, um, what Mr. Fran brings up the fact is you can do live Twitch streams with your phone. Now, I know that's something that's I'd done before when I went to Phoenix Comic Con. Now, not with Twitch, but it was with uh, Periscope when that was a thing. Uh, that was the Twitter thing, and I don't think I, I don't even I haven't used Periscope for a bazillion years, to be honest. But that was a thing. Um, I think right now, outside of Twitch, I could be wrong, but I think YouTube app may have may have a live mode on it. I, I could be wrong. I need to look at that again, but I think it does. So, what I could do if Twitch doesn't work out. Um, it's like a maybe try YouTube Live, which that would, that would use the YouTube.com slash Robin Jamfest channel. Um, and or at least post videos onto the YouTube channel as well. But I will definitely would love to see, look into the Twitch to see if uh, hopefully Android will have that in real life streams. Because what better than see me walk around and show floor again. I've done that before for Phoenix Comic Con Periscope and it was kind of fun. I had to admit people would look at me funny. Uh, I went to a store clerk and actually told him, hey, I was on a Twitch, uh, I'm on a Periscope uh, thing, and he was cool with it. I even found Waldo and gave a, a random guy a little interview uh, for all those that don't know. It was really awkward. The thing about Periscope that I discovered much later, but not at that time, was the fact that you could port those videos, but it was really uh, obtuse. So those videos, unfortunately, as far as I know, are lost um, of those experiences. Um, so, yeah. But... Hopefully with this Twitch update, if it goes on iOS, uh, on, on Android, I should say, soon, or maybe YouTube Live slash or YouTube videos, we could still maybe get some experience out there. I, you know, in a dream scenario, I would love to meet The Rock and give The Rock an interview. Like, if you were to ask me, James, what would you wish that could happen magically? I wish I could just give The Rock an interview, a chest pump for him, and then post it. I might instantly get, like, a bazillion followers. I'm just kidding. But, because it's a freaking rock. But... You know, I'm not going to bet on me getting to talking to a celebrity that long enough to even be able to do that. I'm going to be realistic, but we could all dream. Oh, I just... Oh, wow. Crash Man's ability totally kicks Woodman's ability's ass. So crash the wood is basically what you want to remember. Crashing the wood. Yeah, I look like a little salmon color there, too. Well, thank you, Mr. Silvergon, for for uh, letting me know. Got leaf shield. Oh god, there's someone outside my door. I think they're gonna kill me. Watch out, everybody. Alright, so let me check by, uh... Let's see here. Let's go to the next stage. What stage should I do next? We got Bubble Man. Air Man. Heat Man, which I did play a little bit earlier and got my butt kicked. Quick Man, which I played earlier and got my butt kicked. And we got Metal Man. So I think, um... I think I'm gonna do Bubble Man. I was told otherwise. All right, boom. Aw, yeah. Look at that guy, he looks like Scuba Steve. How threatening could Scuba Steve be? Scuba Steve from Big Daddy. Great Adam Sandler movie. Great Adam Sandler movie. If you're wondering where the heck Katie is, Katie is in a lab right now, doing science. My science right now is just hoping to play the video game. Oh yeah, this stage is cool. I like this stage. God, I need to get that life. Yeah. Whew. That was a risk, people. I could have lost a life to get a life, but I got it. Alright, there we go. Lost a life to get a life. Ooh. The only problem is when you get hit by things, you get knocked back. So, I want to avoid those froggies. No froggies. Goddamn frogs. Goddamn frogs. Hope this audio mix sounds good. I'm excited because 
Uh, you probably know this, Mr. Farrell, but when I played this game before on the PS4 streaming, I couldn't control the audio of this game, so I had to, like, yell. Yell to get heard. <laughs> it was a very exhausting experience. Oh, you know what I uh, did just recently? Is I went to Hershey Park for the first time uh, this past Saturday. And, um, I am not good with theme parks. Are you good at theme parks, Mr. Silvergon? Um, and if you are, what is your favorite theme park slash ride? Let me know. I'm not really good at theme parks. I did go to Disney World and Disneyland. Don't get me wrong. But I suck at roller coasters. And I am... I'm a little bee. Tim was with me. He saw me. He will let you know that I... I, 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 I almost cried. And uh, I'm not afraid to admit that. And I went on to this wooden roller coaster called the Comet. And oh my god. I was screaming my head off with this little kid. <laughs> with the drops. But I had a good time. It's basically all I'm going to say. So maybe I'll ride some more crazy roller coasters, but that's that's what I wanted to, to say. Mr. Silver, I've never been to a theme park. Well, that's got to change my thing. That's, that's, you know what, though? I've been to many theme parks in my life. Uh, I mean, what I just listed was my theme park experiences, but we'll, we'll have that changed. Um, if you want to hear another funny story, uh, Tim was out here, and we went to uh, New York, went to Manhattan, Checked out Central Park Zoo, all that stuff for the first time. And Tim was laughing at how I am with buildings. Because I have a weird... I get weird with tall buildings. I'm not going to lie. I have weird stuff, okay, people? I'm not a normal person. <laughs> I know it. And um, he was just making fun of me. He said, you know what? How you look with everybody. You should. Be, it's a dance move. It's called the Jimmy Shuffle. And I wish I could... You know what? I'm just going to do the Jimmy Shuffle for everybody right now. F it. We're, we're bringing this camera up here. So basically, I'm going to put this camera pan up. So basically what you do is you do the Jimmy Shuffle. This is what this is Tim's dance move making fun of me. You pucker your butt, do the fist, go on your knees, and look up like this. The Jimmy Pucker, everybody. The Jimmy Pucker. The Jimmy Pucker. Alright. Yes, I am standing up playing this game. Alright, so let's uh Ray, that's you. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so pure game. So, um, it, okay, Mr. Sparga, so you've never been to a theme park. Which theme park would you really want to go to? It is now my next my next question. That's my question now. Yes, that dance is... That's a dance that Tim came up with. We also came up with a lot of bad jokes. Apparently I said unpopular opinion too many times, and Tim basically is now making fun of me for saying unpopular opinion. Um, it was fun. It's... The reason I bring up that is not, not, not to really just necessarily just like be bragging ghosts and say, oh, I went to Hershey Park and I went to New York or something like that. First, also, big call out, that was my second time in New York in my life. New York is awesome. You probably already know Mr. Sargon, because you're from there, but New York is awesome. Um, but besides the point, is Tim and I met in Arizona. And every time I asked him, hey, come back with me to Chicago, because I'm originally from Chicago. And I'm like, you know, and he always said no. i never seen Tim outside of the state in my life. This is the first time i ever seen Tim. Oh, wow, I took a picture, I guess, of House and Alice. And, sorry, ramble. But, this is the first time I've ever seen Tim outside of his natural natural habitat in Arizona, in Pennsylvania. And it was kind of crazy. I miss the guy. The guy is a good man. I am going to see him in a week, so it's not going to be that long before I see these guys again in person. And we always have the power of gaming to talk on the headset and play games like that together. So thank God for the for online multiplayer advancing the way it has. But it was just cool to see the guy again, despite of how much he makes fun of me, coming up with those cool dance moves based off of me and things like that. But big shout outs to uh, Mr. Tim. Is, uh, okay, now I'm buying Scoot of Steve. Now this Flash Man, or Woodman. Do you think Woodman might be good against Squishy? We'll find Nope. Apparently, Wood is not good against the Bubbles. Let's try Flashman. Uh, nope. Flashman is no bueno. No bueno with him. All right. Oh, yes. All right. We're just gonna go Mega Man on this on this B right here. He is shooting bubbles. Oh God! Seriously, dude. Yeah, you get you get your ass kicked by bubbles, bubbles. Yes, bubbles. Not Parkle Girl bubbles, but the literal bubbles. The spot off a of Scuba Steve. Oh my God, my help, my help, my help. Yes. Suck a D, Bubble Man. Suck a 
D. Uh, so Mr. Silvergon, the, the theme park, he wants to visit Six Flags. More power to you. More power to you. Six Flags is all about crazy big roller coasters. I would, knowing me and how easily scared I get with any any ride, including like the little scrambler thing, I, I probably would cry for those roller coasters. And I'm not afraid to admit that. Because you're a little bee. I'm a little bee. But uh, more part to you. That's awesome. I say that everyone go over to a site, give them the bits, and give them support and love that Mr. Sorgon deserves, and hopefully I'll see you in a Six Flags. I know I said it like that. I said Six Flags almost dramatic there. I was like, Six Flags! Like I'm almost like, almost like I'm plugging up too. Six Flags, the place to be. Yeah, I'm afraid of heights too, Mr. Sorgon. Oh my god, you should saw me that. I was on a basic wooden coaster. Tim was laughing his butt off because I was screaming my head off to the point my, vo my voice was hoarse, believe it or not. I am easily scared of heights. I have a really weird thing with tall objects too. I'm not going to lie, but it goes away like it, like that, like, you know, that's what the whole Jimmy Shuffle mock dance was about, was how I look around that. But it goes away. It wasn't like I was that the whole time in New York. You know what I mean? So obviously it was just one of those things I just know it's going to be a weird thing I have to deal with. I remember Tim wanted to go up to the very top of the Empire State Building to do the uh, open air observatory. Unfortunately, it's I think it was like 55 bucks. So Tim was like, "F that." But I was actually nervous about that because I was kind of like, uh, "I don't know if I. I mean, I maybe the closed building high up, I'll be fine. But if we're talking like open air, I would be I'd be like, Ugh. and then start talking about base jumping and stuff. I'm just like, Tim, more power to you. But I'm a little chicken. I feel like you if you could get to Six Flags, do a little video of you on a roller coaster. Not to force you to do this. You don't have to do this. But that might be that might be pretty cool. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. And yes, I've been plugging a lot, Mr. Fagan, but his YouTube channel is I'm So Wavy Productions. I am. I am So Wavy Productions. Alright? Alright, people? Alright. I'm doing it with little ice cream cones right here. At least they're giving me a lot of health. Well, some of them are. Alright, so this is Mega Man Dose. I actually am surprised how long I've been playing this game. I don't know why I'm so... Wait, why am I surprised? I used to play this game a lot as a kid. I think my patience has not been that great as an older man. I think as a little kid, you, you, when you get a game for the Nintendo, you that's the game you have. Whether it's a rental or for some magical reason you... You got that game. Um, more likely a rental. You have a few days to play that game. Or be at a friend's house. I mean, those, those were the scenarios in my life, okay? Either A, I was at my friend Jonathan's house, which had Mega Man 2, and I didn't. In this case. Or you had a rental. Or it was one of those games like Castlevania that, for some magical reason you got, was my life story when it comes to Nintendo. Um, the OG Nintendo Super Nintendo. Basically, games before I was old enough to, to get, a, get a job. Um, and basically, what you had was so much time with that game. And when you, when you, um, as you probably would, this probably would be echoed by a lot of people, I mean, even today with modern gaming, especially with being 60 bucks, probably more than likely too. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that you invested so much in the game. See, like right now, I have this this thing I keep saying over and over again, like a little whiny beat, but it's it's a good problem to have is I have a lot of I have a backlog of games that I just want to beat. And when I think about being a kid, like the idea is I wouldn't have that backlog, you know, like and what I mean by that is the fact that there's those games were not permanently in my collection. It wasn't like I had a bazillion games in my collection at the time to be like, oh I'm feeling like playing this game today. It literally would be a case of, okay, I have a few days to beat Mega Man, for example, let's say Mega Man, and that is what you invest your time in. You know, you invest those hours playing that game and hope that you get on top of it, you know? And nowadays, I think it's just like, it could be just me, but the fact of the matter is with, with a lot of these games, a lot of these games, yes, I do beat some games, but I almost feel like that, I don't know how to explain, maybe it's a patience thing or something like that, you then feel like, okay, you, you feel like you have all this time in the world to beat the game, and so it's easy to, to have that game as a backlog game. And plus games are a bit bigger too. But the unfortunate part about that is 
unless you really trap does it, I'm going to beat Horizon. For example, Horizon is a game that I feel like I just need to beat. It's, it, it, I almost feel like I'm more easily pushed that aside nowadays in my adulthood when it's, if I was a kid, I would have beaten Horizon by now. I just know it. I know that if I was a kid right now and it's summer, Horizon would have been beat in about two days because I know I wouldn't have that game for a long time and it's the game <laughs> it's, it's the game and I'm gonna I'm gonna play it through you know and I don't know uh, that's just I know I'm ranted about that but that's basically what I just want to say so oh hey look I beat um, five bosses one boss two boss three boss four boss five boss ah uh, ah uh. Mr. Oregon you are so welcome you're uh, you are so welcome you're awesome awesome sauce extraordinaire I know it's a weird compliment, but it's true. And one day I'll cover, overcome the fear. You will. You know, <clears throat> talking about fears, and I probably mentioned this before, but I actually, regardless of what popular pity is of people that do Twitch streams or whatnot, personally, I am really afraid. I, I have stage fright. Stage fright extraordinaire. And, like, seriously, um, this is going to be a little personal, and I, I don't know if I mentioned this story before, but... In sixth grade, I actually cried while giving a speech. I know you cried, <laughs> loser. Not a loser. Okay, it's you're not a loser. People have fears. There's embarrassing things that happen to everybody's life, right? And that's the embarrassing thing that happened. One of the embarrassing things that happened in my life, and I'm not gonna lie, giving giving speeches, especially at that time, was super hard. And more recently. Um, especially with going back to school, they force you, in a sense, to do so many public presentations. And trust me, I was, f I, I still am scared. But right now, I can confidently say I'm, a l I'm way less scared than when I used to be in speeches. Like, I could go up there, I'm not crying or doing anything like that during a speech, and I could pull it off. And actually, pull off a few jokes too. And I, whether or not I want to credit Twitch streaming as helping me with that, or if I want to credit the fact that they keep pushing you to do it to overcome that fear it or age in a weird way i don't know i mean we are talking about a sixth grade story to a you know 30 year old story right um but just what i want to say is that if if you whatever the fear you may have yes there are going to be those fears and a lot of them are very like natural fears too like heights for example is a very natural fear no one wants to die uh, heights you feel like you're very susceptible to falling and dying um Versus public speaking, where I guess it's just more of a weird ego fear, or whatever you want to call it. But the fact of the matter is, like, I, I feel that we all have, there's a capability that we all have to overcome those fears. And never, ever feel like that you're never going to overcome that fear. If you put your mind to it, I feel like, I feel like you, you would be able to. Now, if your fear is, of course, taking a cyanide pill, that's a good fear to have. Please don't kill yourself. Um, <laughs> that's a really random fear thought but yeah okay seriously dude you just rambled this whole stream yes this is the ramble cast you have a problem with that arnold I, I don't have a problem with that you have any fears arnold i have no fears the only fear i have is how badass i am okay arnold okay oh man i died i died oh i'm gonna stand up here let the blood get to my legs wait wait i'm right next to what get, get out of here Oh wait, I have to go to the to the left. Oh, thank you, Mr. Silver God. He likes the rambles. Yeah, I probably should call this the ramble cast. This is uh, I uh, um fourth wall breaking or whatever you want to call it, but I definitely feel like this stream has been me mostly rambling about recent things <laughs> about um how things were going in my life and how I feel about my current uh, streams and all sorts of weird things. But yeah, that's just that's just life. That's just things, you know. I feel like the awesome thing about Twitch is you could share really cool games and you could share experiences and you could share your stories and you can meet a lot of cool people and that's really the cool thing about this platform as probably a lot of people probably know. Um, but so it allows people like me, the weird guy, to <laughs> ramble about stuff and you know, be with Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, if you really want to interview a celebrity, you can just interview me. That's true. Instead of The Rock, who cares about The Rock? I may have given the, you know, the, the, the tour, the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the baton? Yes, the baton. Back in the movie, The Rundown. But it's, I'm still the superhero. 
he's just a little zero. I wouldn't say the rock's a zero. I, I mean, I would say that you, the rock, if you're the, you know, fight troll right now, you probably would, you know, don't you see it? You probably kick your butt. No, you wouldn't. You could not take down the Arnolds. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying the rocks, the rocks got it right now. Um, I, I definitely love the rock. I would definitely love to see. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm very curious about Jumanji 2. I don't know if I want to say I definitely want to see it, but I want to see it. If you want, to, if you catch my drift, like, I'm not like, you know. Oh wait, let me plug my laptop. It's about to die. Oh crap. There you go. Oh crap. Hold on. My laptop almost died there, people. I have to make sure it's alive so I can keep streaming. Okay. All right. Let's get back to this. All right. Yep, there. Okay. I'm against Windman. How many lives do I have? Uh, I have two lives. Let's see what works with this guy. He does okay? That, 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 that worked. No. Um, you know, maybe Flashman. Maybe Flash and him, my Tatas, or my purple, my purple suit right now will kill him. All right. Let's find out. Nope. Make this ability is good against one boss and freaking out my monitor. Well, it actually freaked out the monitor before you came to see Mega Man on my screen. Um, what about? Well, I think Crash Man is good against Woodman. Yep. I'm trying to figure out what's good against this guy. I think I tried M before. What about. Which one did I have not done? Oh, shoot! Woodman! Takes the crap out of Air Man. I like how the two tornadoes are still in the air. Suck it, tornadoes. Suck it. Ha! Yeah. I got eight. That is. Woo! All right. Jumanji should be fun. Jumanji two should be a fun movie. I I do like that they have The Rock. I do like they have Jack Black. So I don't see a lot of Jack Black in movies uh, recently, and I think he's awesome. And. It's kind of interesting take they're doing with it, the fact that they're taking it as, like, it's a video game now. Not a board game, but it's a video game that's taking them into the jungle, not bringing it into the real world. I mean, they're interesting concepts for a sequel, and I also like Kevin Hart a lot, so I really hope that it succeeds. Um, and I think that, I think that, you know, there's a good chance it will. I don't, you know, it definitely has the star power to back it up. It's just now... It's now really up to the story, and it's hard for sequels not to state the not to state the obvious, but sequels are really a mixed bag. I mean, there's there's some sequels, mostly James Cameron based sequels like Terminator Two and and um, God blanking out Terminator Two, uh, Terminator Two and Aliens that that successfully done it. But you know we have to sequ sequels are a hard bag. If I was in charge of writing a sequel to any big movie, they want to write a sequel to Back to the Future, for example. I would just melt in my seat because A, I can't write really, but B, it's it's such a hard thing to replicate the magic of the original and to expand on that, and um, it, it really is probably a hard bag, so what is your favorite sequel, Mr. Servagon, and whoever else is watching, what is your, now we're talking about sequels, what is your favorite sequel, or you think is a really good sequel that stands out, let me know. Alright, so now what I'm left with is the two bosses that I played previously that, that, that well, to, to be frank, kicked my butt. We have Quick Man and Heat Man. I'm going to try Quick Man again and do that. Mr. Survivor says Terminator 2, which is a classic. The idea that take the villain for the first movie and make him the good guy um, and have that uh, kind of father, weird kind of surrogate father figure to a troubled youth. Um, and, and of course having a badass Sarah Connor really good sequel to the first one um, it definitely accomplished what a lot of rare sequels do not do which is expand, change and capture new magic new lightning in a bottle Turbo 2 is a great movie alright got myself a life alright we're now we're down to the P the P P P P P P P Penis. I don't know why I said penis. Because you think about it. I don't. I don't know. I, I could say another joke at your expense, but I'm going to hold off. Oh, say it, Arnold. I'm going to hold off. Wow, you're showing a little bit of restraint, Arnold. Yeah, it's a new me. It's a new Arnold. Now that I know that I'm not auditioning for a comedy movie with you, 
Now I could be who I really am! A jerk? Yes! Wait. Ah, 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 ah. Da, 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 da. Dinosaurs? Da, dinosaurs? I'm gonna try my Jeff Goldblum. Or, uh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a new impression, everybody. Or, wait, no, a new celebrity came in! Oh my god, a new celebrity came in. It's not impression. Um. Uh, cat over moon. The cat goes over the moon. What's that supposed to be? Ah. Uh, uh, cat over moon. You cut the cat, then the moon. Who, who the fuck is that? It's Chris Rockin. We try it again. The, the, the cow says moo. The cow says moo. It's terrible. What is that terrible? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, it's, it's, ah, uh, uh, terrible? Terrible impression. No, it's not. It's really bad, dude. No, it's not. It's pretty, it's pretty shitty, dude. And I'm saying that as your friend, okay? Dude, Christopher Rocket does not walk on sunshine, okay? It, it, uh, it does. It does. It's, uh, it's the Christopher Rocket. The cat over moon, see? It's a cat, uh, Christopher, it's a Christopher Rocket. No, it's terrible. Really? It's pretty bad, dude. It's pretty shitty. Yeah, it's not top notch, dude. It's not. Top notch, James. It's kind of, it's kind of like, it's worse, it's almost as bad as your Jeff Goldblum, not worse. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, it's a uh, what, what, worse? Oh God. Well, I tried. I tried, Chris Rockin. I tried. Just like I'm gonna try to beat this stage of Quick Man stage. Quick Man has flame characters. Just okay. Ookie dookie. Oh man, these beams are the bane of my existence. Gosh! Mary Joseph. Alright everybody, I'm gonna do something. We're gonna take a little break, okay? I'm gonna crack open a cold one. You gonna get a beer? No, I'm not gonna get a beer. Crazy Arnold. Nice. Refreshing drink. It's summer, okay? <laughs> this is this is gonna be me advertising. A nice vanilla, Coca-Cola vanilla here. Ah, cheers, gents, cheers. Ah, Mega Man 2. You know, talk about sequels. I had not planned this segue, but Mega Man 2 is a great example of a video game sequel. And next question I want to pose out there to the Red Button Army, the best viewers in the world. What? is your favorite video game sequel? That's a good question. Mega Man 2 is a prime sequel. Um, for me, hmm. That's a hard one. God of War 2 is a really good sequel. I have to really think what my favorite video game sequel would be. I mean, technically Final Fantasy 9 would be my favorite Final, my favorite sequel. You know, when we're talking about a ninth in a series. If we're, if we're really gonna go off on semantics. Hmm. Batman, Batman, um, I believe Batman Arkham City. It's a good, really good sequel. Hmm. Huh. There's a lot more, I think there's a lot more really good video game sequels. Resident Evil 2, amazing sequel to a video game. I think, I think the thing about video games is you're going to find a lot more better sequels than you would with movies. I know it's a blunt statement, but I, I kind of want to back that up. I feel like I can name way more video game sequels that are actually as good, if not better, than the original in comparison to movies. And I think, for the most part, video games tend to like get in their groove with sequels. They tend to like understand the mechanics they want to kind of build up on, and that base and expanding on it is kind of the big piece of the puzzle. Like Grand Theft Auto, for example, we're we can talk about Grand Theft Auto 5 and how amazing that is compared to Grand Theft Auto 1. And usually it's kind of like improvements. Whereas movies is kind of a more, it's obviously a very visual experience, not an interactive experience. So we're not talking about mechanics at that point, we're talking about cinematography and things of that nature and script. A story is more front and center with a movie. And sometimes taking that magic of a movie is kind of harder to expand on without feeling too samey with the sequel, and I, it's kind of hard to explain. I think it's hard, really hard to do a sequel with a movie, whereas video games, yeah, there's a story to it. But sometimes, video games is just about that mechanic, and if you get that little itch, and you could just expand it, and because Assassin's Creed, for example, Assassin's Creed 2, much better than the original. 
The original had a idea, and the sequel said, oh, these things are broken around it. You know, the, let's improve on these, enhance it, take that core, keep that core, and that's what they do with the sequel. Again, just food for thought. As I sip this cold drink. Yes, I'm plugging the soda now. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. All right. Rugrats hate that. The Rugrats not approve of me just pausing a game and taking a sip of my soda pop. Ah. Refreshing. Okay. Let me um, find a good spot to um, set this down at. And let's get back to the game. Take a moment so I can scare you guys with my face. Alright, oh. Alright, let's get back to this. This is like a preview of the Rarathon 2, basically, where I'm just gonna be rambling Joe. And pausing games. Uh, Rarathon 2, though, I think, um, we're gonna kinda do a little... Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, they have an overlay they suggest for their donations. I might use that, but I really like the overlay I got from Mr. Silver God. So I'm gonna see what I can do to just like, just have the link there, you know? And uh, hopefully figure that out by the Saturday. Or at the very least, just keep mentioning the link. Here's a link, everybody. Click it, click it, click it. Please donate. Not like I haven't done that before. You know. Uh, usually I help out with Extra Life where you can help out the hospital of your choice. But this time I'm, I'm, I wanna do St. Jude's Play Live. I wanna really um, help out particular St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital because of all the stuff they do. And, it's a, it's not to go off too much tangent with that, but it is a it is a charity I personally do donate to, and um, you know, and from what I see, how they manage their funds and what they do with it, I think it's really a good cause to get into. Um, so I just want to highly just kind of point that out. And let's see, continue. All right, all right, we're back. I I keep dying on the stage, as you probably can see. With your eyes. Why? Because I just... My God. I feel like I was better as a kid than as a grown man. I... <laughs> honestly. Like, Castlevania, for example, I used to remember being that game before dinner multiple times. And as a grown-ass adult, I over multiple play sessions due to the power of the save state on a Wii. I can't freaking beat it again. I feel frustrated. I, I, I'm i stuck in the Grown Reaper part if you're wondering. And this is what I feel like right now. Like... I feel like I should be a more accomplished gamer, but this stage, this game is kind of just like getting this big old boot and kicking my lip, my metaphorical ass, and uh, that's really what's happening right now. Man, but video game sequels, man. Favorite video game sequel. Favorite video game sequel, everybody. All right. In the night. So what, um, to talk about the marathon that's coming up, the marathon to the sequel that we're clever for, and I'm belching. Is there any games that you, you cool people, really want to see, um, happen? Um, this, uh, this marathon too. Now I am going to cheat a little bit, because before I actually had multiple systems set up, and I don't have all, all my, a lot of my old school systems with me at this location, but um, I'm going to use the Rare Replay, which has 30 Rare games. And uh, and that's going to help me out. So, you know, I'm, I'm what, personally, I want to play, of course, Banjo-Kazooie. That's a game that's got to be played. Banjo-Kazooie 2, another one. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2, we'll have to figure out how to play that. Donkey Kong Country 2 is going to be something we're going to have to figure to play out. I wish I had my Wii with me. We'll figure it out, buddy. We will. I will have to get that up on. Get it up. Hopefully, I will do it for you and figure out a way. I don't have my Super Tenno with me, unfortunately. But I'm going to figure out a way to get that game up on the Rarathon 2. Um, but I I do think Donkey Kong... I think Badger Kazooie 2, because I played Badger Kazooie 1. And we are talking about Rarathon 2, so it would be cool to play Badger Kazooie 2. Uh, it would be cool to play Banjo Kazooie 2, Donkey Kong Country 2, for example, as part of the 12 games. Um, another, I think another one would be Battle Toads. I think that'd be fun to see if me and Kate could play together. I feel like Kate's gonna hate my guts for playing that game because, I mean, she's a great gamer, but she probably would get frustrated playing that game way more than I would. 
Uh, but I'll see what I can do there. Um, I think that would be fun to play. So that's three games right there. Vivia, Vivia Pinata, I think would be another cool one to play. So that's four. Killer Instinct 2 uh, would probably be another good one. We're talking about twos, right? So that's five. So that's five games right there. That'd be awesome. And you know what? I'm going to have to look on my systems. I think I'm going to look at the Wii U and hope to God that they have... Uh, Unfortunately, I don't have my Wii or my Super Nintendo with me, um, so I really, I really hope I can get Donkey Country 2 to be playable. Please don't hate me if I can't get that able to, but I'm gonna look right. I'm gonna look at what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna look at the Wii U's shop and hope they have Donkey Country 2 and grab that shit up. It's not a shitty game. I meant, I meant that you know, grab that shit like. Yeah, you know what? Grab that awesome game. You you floundering. I'm not floundering. Alright. Actually, Dark Country 3 we played for the first Rarathon, as you remember. And that's when you first came in, homie. I don't forget! I don't forget when I get cool viewers, okay? I don't forget. Don't forget! Alright. I'm gonna take a sip of this. Actually, that happened January of 2016! It's an old time. Or 2015. No, 2016. 2016. I'm pretty sure 2016. I've that long. Um. Aw, uh, thank you, Mr. Silvergon. I do appreciate that the fact you cannot hate me. Oh, wait, did I just beat Quick Man? Wait! Holy crap! Okay, people, I know I sound like I'm drugged out, and I'm not. I don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Don't do crack, people. Um. <laughs> Crack's a powerful drug. That's the quote, uh, Rick James on the Dave Chappelle show. Um, oh wait, one hell of a drug is what he said. Anyway, wow, that's completely off tangents. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, is I was so mentally, I was all into thinking of what games to play for Earthbound 2 that I did not realize, I'm not kidding, I did not realize I just played through Quick Man stage and beat him. Seriously, I guess I have to be mindless to beat this level. <laughs> Which sounds weird. I don't- that doesn't sound like good game strategy. I feel like you need to be in the game to beat the game, but apparently I, all I needed to do was just rambled, and that's how I beat Quick Man. I- I- I, I feel like a dum-dum now. I feel like I should know the fact that I just played through Quick Man stage and beat it. But I'm gonna be honest with you, my brain was not in Play Mega Man as much as talking about- just thinking about Marathon 1 and thinking about what games I want to play, that- now it's just coming to terms with the fact that it literally just beat Quick Man Stage. It's a weird feeling, people. I feel like an old person right now. I've just had a senior moment. I just beat Quick Man Stage! Yes, Grandpa, you just had that at 8 oatmeal. Oatmeal! I would love oatmeal. I love it with brown sugar and cinnamon. You just said that two seconds ago, old man. Oat! Okay, so let's go see if that would work with beating Heat Man. Heatman stage was the first stage I unfortunately picked during this uh, this ramble cast slash random cast stream, and this is the stage that for all those that played Mega Man, this is the stage where you have to memorize where blocks pop up, and that becomes a pain in the butt. And I'm gonna have to go through the stage again. I didn't, well, I didn't, I didn't beat it my first few attempts on this stream, and let's see if I can beat it today. Uh, these characters are the Jersey Shore fist pumpers, as you can tell. They are, are, they're the guys that just, you know, they always do the fist pumps. They're like, yo, bro! Snooki wants smush smush. Oh! I pressed the X button. I pressed the jump button and did not jump. Now, the thing about the Mega Man Legacy Collection is there is a, um, if you press triangle, it quick fires your punch, your, your throws. As you notice, I do not do that at all. I want to play this game as if it's on the Nintendo, where you just have the D-pad, no stick. Don't, I don't use a stick, I just use a d-pad, and I press the just two buttons, because that's how it was on Nintendo. I don't want to use any of the cheap little this button right here, even though the stick is not much of a cheap thing, but I don't want to do either. I want to play it like it was on Nintendo. Yes, I'm an old man, um, but I want that as authentic of an experience as I could get, given the, the technology that I have in play right here. And so if you're wondering why you don't see me do that, those tactics, it's because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't go with that, okay? I, homie, don't fly with that! 
okay? Homie, talk about myself here. Homie, don't lie with that. All right, let's go. Oh, come on. You don't give me the googly eyes. Oh, and thank you, Mr. Ragan, for saying good game, by the way. I, I don't wanna, I'm not trying to ignore you, buddy. I will never ignore you. Never. All right, so... I hate these guys. Because once you step next to them, they're like, GET OUT MY PLACE! And they go super crack fast. Super crack fast. All right, here's the first of the blocks. Basically, this is the game saying, oh, there's blocks. I don't, I think the original game did this too, but this, the Mega Man 2 is what really forced it as a problem, okay? And you're gonna see why it becomes a problem uh, in just a little bit. Sorry, I have to take a swig, okay? I have to take a swig of that sweet, sweet Coke is vanilla, okay? Mm. All right. Okay, cool. So, you know what's really cute? Um, this is this would be so rambly as hell, but. I'm gonna go off it. I met Katie's uh, nephew Braxton, and this, he's a, he's 11 years old, he's an awesome kid. He wanted to see the Switch, and we played Snipper Clips and all this stuff, and for some reason, he, I mean, this is more of a joke, don't, don't call child services on his parents or anything like that, but he wants me to be his adopted father, which is, I, I think it's cute, but it's really weird at the same time. No, that's not happening, everyone. Don't worry, I'm not. <laughs> you're not gonna see a random like kid come on the screen. It's like, hey, meet my new adopted son, Braxton. Uh, but I just find that kind of cute. And the reason I'm just thinking about that is, in a, I don't. Why did I just bring that up? That was random. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> random bots. All right, hashtag random. All right. Now, if I had a kid, though, I would teach him to twitch right. <laughs> Teach him Twitch right. Don't do what your dad does. Oh God! Don't do that. Is basically what I would teach him. Here's the here's the old school games. If I had a kid, I really I feel so old manish right now. But I would want him to show him these old school games. I want to show him the Donkey Kong Country 2s and the Mega Man 2s and um, Super Mario 64s because I think these games will still entertain kids. And I, maybe that sounds really weird. But I know as a kid I love these games, and I feel like if they were, I know they're gonna accomplish, they're gonna see more high quality games, visually, mechanically. That's just that's just gonna happen. That's the nature of the beast. But I want them to put them through the fires, okay? I want them to appreciate these old school hard ass games like Mega Man 2. I want them to have that controller, that experience of wanting to conquer, okay? Like Papa used to do. So that's what I would want to do if I had, uh, kids, you know. If I had kids! Oh god. I'm, I'm gonna keep job at- You son of a bitch! You mother- Humpers. God. Dang it. Sons of guns. Ugh! Oh! oh, oh. Yeah, I want- I, If I had a kid and had to play Mega Man 2, I wanted to say all those words too while playing it! This- This- I can't express. I don't care. I suck. I know. But this stuff is hard. And I want to say hi to the dopest meme. Thank you for uh, watching my random stream of Mega Man 2 slash my rambling. How are you doing? Did you have a very happy 4th of July? I hope you did. I hope you did, good sir. I have been rambling all this stream. He has been. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for his rambles, everybody. Hey, you don't have to say that, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm also sorry for, uh, his terrible jokes. You have terrible jokes, Ray Romano. Shut up! Okay, so... And also his terrible, uh, impression of Chris Walken. It's not impre- it's not terrible. It cut over moon. It's a good impression. It sounds like Count Dracula. Yeah, it does sound kind of like Count Dracula. Uh, uh, it does sound like, uh, uh, Count, uh, Count Dracula? Okay, bad. Bad Jeffco impression. Don't tell me my Chris Rock impression is terrible. All right. Um, I'm glad to see you here, dopest meme. I'm glad you're here to see you here. All right. Hope you're having a good day. Let us get through this. God. See, when you get hit, it knocks you back. Okay. If you're wondering why those little spinning around eyeball things are being the, are the bane of my existence right now, that's exactly why. 
you can't shoot through this, but you can shoot through this. Alright. Alright, now this comes the part where I want to throw the controller. This is the memory bar. The memory blocks part. We got the memory as where the blocks are coming from. Yep, that was a belch. Mm. Start from square zero. I'm here, but I have to do stuff. So I'm going to lurk. Dopest meme, you do you. You do what you want to do, but thank you for even coming or lurking. I don't mind. Kick, kick that stuff's ass, okay? That's all I ask of you. <laughs> all right. So we got these blocks. Okay. That block appeared and apparently pushed me aside. Okay. The my parents were wondering, son, what did you do last week before you came out here to visit us? They, I don't know. They sound like that. Um, they don't. Um, I'd be like, I was playing Mega Man 2. Tried to rekindle memories of how badass I was. You were never badass. That's true, Papa. I never call my dad Papa, by the way, bro. Don't worry. He is not like that at all. Um, shoot. 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 Alright, there you go. Boom. Boom. Oh, I got that one. Boom. 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 Oh, it's not that one. It's th not that one either! God, it's one of these blocks. The reason why I'm jumping up like an, an idiot is... And just got game over. Is one of those blocks, it does a quick one where you have to go jump. It appears above you. Ah, uh, okay. He is... This is the last boss before the Dr. Wily stage, so... I got to... I, I If I want to do anything in this stream, I would at least say I beat all these bosses. I mean, if I beat this game during the stream, that'd be awesome too, but... At the very least, I want to say I beat these bosses. Oh, God. The good thing about being hit is it does give you a little bit of invincibility. So even though that lava... That beautiful textures on the bottom would have uh, killed me instantly... Uh, by being hit by another enemy, it prevented me from that for a short period of time, so... Okay, did anyone see that little help orb just appear to right magically? That was weird. That was weird. Alright, I'm at the start of the level. I mean, roguelike games are a thing nowadays too, I guess. There's, there's, games are being, games are becoming hard again, you know what I'm saying? Games are becoming hard. Shoot. Shoot. Just say shit, dude, okay? It's alright if you want to swear. Alright. Okay, Arnold. Alright, so going down the ladder. Alright, here we go. Also, call out, check out the dopest memes Twitch stream. If you haven't, you're. Oh, I don't want to call anyone a horrible person, but just you know, you you get a you get a fist shaking from me, sirs. So if you have Mr. Spark got five one six, you don't want me to give you a figure to fist shake. Follow their streams. I'm so aggressive. I'm so threatening. I'm hardcore. All right. Nope. Stop that, you cracky thing, you. All right, let's go. Okay. Did it too soon. Like a few other things you like, you know, you girls. Shut up. Shut up, you Arnold. You Arnoldy Arnold, you. Okay. Boom. 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 There you go, see? It was the boom! Oh, fudge a fudge to fudge. Ooh. Boom. Boom. I'm gonna stand up! Oh, it's a stand up time! Boom. 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 There we go.
Fudge. Oh my god. Alright. Let's pause this. Let's pause this. Pause this up. Let's bring it up to my, my ugly bug again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world, I want to welcome Ivan Two Fly Twenty Two, aka the Ivanster, who kicks major ass. How you doing, my friend? I hope you have a good July Fourth. Same thing goes up the dopest meme. Sorry if I did not give you the proper introduction, because you also kick ass as well. All right. If you wonder what the heck I'm trying to do, I'm rambling while I'm trying to play Mega Man Two, and I'm getting my butt kicked. Hope you're also going well. I will race myself now. You don't have to see this face any longer. You know what? I'm gonna have a drink. A nice cold Coke. Vanilla! Get back on screen, Jimmy. Play the goddamn game, dude. I will, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Back to Mega Man 2. What's up, James? How are you, brother? I am doing pretty well. My girlfriend's family is out here for July 4th. We grilled some food. We watched some fireworks. The fireworks actually set off a fire, so they went, they stopped prematurely out here in middle Pennsylvania, but it turned out fine overall. How was your 4th of July? Did you do anything crazy? Um, yeah, Ivan's doing good. He's at work. He's kicking some ass. He's kicking ass at work, everybody. Hope works. I hope you. Well, I. I don't hope. I know you're kicking ass at work. Um, your Fourth of July was good. Great. Yeah, mine was. Yeah. yeah it was. It was cool Fourth of July. I also had a friend uh, Tim out here for a few days. Uh, before Fourth, went to the theme park. I screamed like a little bee on several rides because I'm easily scared. Um, outside that, my last week or so has been pretty good. Fourth of July, you know. My girlfriend's family is a cool family. Her sister, Ke Kelly, awesome. Nephew, Braxton, wants me to adopt him. That was weird, but he's cool. And uh, her mom, really sweet lady. Awesome. Awesome times. Um, can't complain about grilling food or fireworks. America! Oh, God. And what better way to spend the day after America than just trying to... Not Trying to get my blood pressure, raise my blood pressure a little bit by playing Mega Man. You also do a terrible Christopher Walken impression. Ah, uh, cat over moon, not, the, uh, not terrible. Ah, uh, ah, uh, pretty bad. Almost as bad as the Jeff, Jeff Goble. Yeah, it's a pretty bad impression, dude. You keep bringing it up. Cat, I'm gonna keep trying to do my Christopher Walken. That's, that is now sounding like something else. Yeah, it sounded pretty bad. I'm sorry, buddy. <clears throat> All right, I'm at the infamous memory block section of Mega Man 2, which is, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's kicking my ass. I, uh, I, uh, I need to kick its ass. This is something that needs to be done. Oh, I did it. I did it. It's been done. All right, here we go. Oh, fudge. Ugh, okay, we got this. Five hours later. All right. <laughs> This, I, I, I think this kicked my ass before out of prior stream. This is not a, oh! Mm. At least the slinky thing is out of the way. That makes life a little bit easier. I mean, they kind of take the uh, train wheels off at a certain point, as you're gonna see in just a little bit, where you have lava, and then you have nothing underneath you at all. I, I don't know why the why nothing underneath you is scarier than the lava one. They're, they're both instant death. There is no, there's no rest for the wicked in this game. That's for sure. Now rats by the wicked. Alright, one, two, three, one above. There you go, boom. Oh my gentle Jesus! I passed the memory blocks! Alright, this is where I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little cheating and, well, not, well, save it, because it's the Mega Man Legacy Collection. The original version, you're not able to do that. I know, haha. Ha. But the memory blocks have been passed. Silent applause, silent applause. Yeah, good for you, you little, you little bastard, Jim. You little bastard. All right, next challenge: lay guy. Go away from lay guy. Not mess with you today, dude. All right, we're at the boss. All right, Heat Man. What is going to be good against Heat Man? My guess is Air Man. Okay. My guess is Air is going to kick Heat's ass. But we're going to find out right now. Right now. Bring it, bro. How many lives do I have? That's the biggest question. I like how Heatman is a lighter. All right. Let's see. I got, I got, I think I have two lives. Technically that one, I think means two. I know that sounds dumb, but I think zero, zero in this game also counts as life. It's one of those games. It's old game. 1988, represent. All right. Oh shoot, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Unless Flashman's good against him. 
My guess is Airman's gonna get some, so let's find out. Oh, fudge! No! No! Maybe, maybe Flash, maybe Flash Man's good against him? Um, right now I'm just testing to see what he's good against him. Nope, not Flash. Not Flash. God damn it. I guess I passed the boss where Flash was good against. I am not using any cheat guides or anything to find out what is good against what. If you're wondering. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna breathe a little bit if you're wondering what I'm doing. Take a sip. Get some! Mr. Sorbargon says, get some, man! Gotta get some. That's right. Let me take a sip here. Mm. Ah. Now, if this didn't have alcohol in this, would be a very interesting stream. <laughs> I'll just crack open some My Car Lemonades while playing games. That's what's, that's gonna happen. America! All right. Mm. All right. Okay. All right, everybody. Ready? Let's do this. Let's fight. Let's fight the good fight. I think Airman was the thing. I just had to keep using him, my guess. Let's hope. God damn you freaking you freaking mother fricker. No! Stop it. God no, 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 no. God! Okay, oh, hold up! Wait, I don't have any more energy tanks? And energy energy dirt 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 tanks? No. Wait, what am I doing? God. Suck it! Suck! God damn you! Okay, this is where you do this. Yes, I know. I know. You guys can say, you're a pansy, James. You did a load save state. I feel a little dirty inside, not gonna lie. But sometimes... Sometimes you gotta play a little dirty, okay? Sometimes you gotta play a little dirty. Now, would 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 knock out somebody else, right? What's this one? Oh, okay. Would would that boomerang? Would Captain Boomerang kick Heat Man's ass? Let's find out. I like the I like the pink uniform. It's very babo. Very babo. Okay. I'm glad that all of you guys, all of these badass Red Bun Army members, are here today. God damn it, you guys. Make life beautiful. I know it sounds corny and cheap. It makes me want to gag. But it's the god honest truth. That's the thing about Twitch. Is you could just... It allows the platform for weird guys like me to play some games. But also to check in on some of the coolest people from across this world. Period. Bar none. And it's great to see you all doing well. It, it makes me smile. It really does. It makes me, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. Alright. So, you know what? F, F this guy. F this! F you! Heat man! You! Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say I feel dirty inside, but... You saw those memory blocks. You saw how much pain I went through. I deserve a little bit of a free pass here. I like how this game throws this guy right at you, because it's a, it's a dick game. It's a dick game. Game, if a game could be a dick, this game is a, 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 a it's just a, it's a dick! Wow, good one, you, you came up with that by yourself? Shut up, Arnold. Dr. W. Dr. Dubs, alright. I gotta compose myself. I'm gonna try Airman again. Maybe that did more damage than I thought. Could be a thing, could be a thing. Thank you for the words of encouragement there, Mr. So Far God. Alright, uh... Oh, God. He's okay. You piece of shit. You are a piece of... You are a piece of shit. You are a piece... You are a filthy, stanky-ass piece of shit, hate man. You are going to die. I'm sorry to swear, everybody. But Heat Man... Heat Man needs to know, okay? Bring the heat to Heat Man, is what I heard. No! How did you get that shot off so fast? I think that's what she said. Shut up, Arnold! Oh, God. 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 No! Stop it! You stop it, you piece of... God. No! Swear away. Woo! <laughs> okay.
I don't know if this is the hardest boss of the game, but I feel like he is. I feel like this has been the hardest stage overall for me this whole play. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spurgott, for the words of courage. He's, he, he, uh, you guys probably see the screen, but I'm just going to say it. He says, you got this, James. He, he, he. Just say it. All right, I'm going to take a sip. I'm going to take a sip of that vanilla, vanilla Coke. Good old swig. Okay, no. No! Alright, Heat Man. We all know Heat Man, right? Heat Man is a piece of crap. He's a filthy, stanky piece of crap. You try to make America hot again, but I'm not with this Heat Man. Heat Man, we're gonna get you. Oh god. No! Get out of here! Stupid, stupid Heat Man! Stop it! Stop it! That's just bullshit! Heat Man, no! Ugh! I wasn't, I wasn't coming with full health, though, people. <laughs> this is. Okay. I am a tiger, Mega Man. I of a tiger. I am wearing this shirt right now, the Mega Man shirt, to represent Mega Man. Camera time, Heat Man. That's, you're gonna see my face, cause I'm gonna sit down a little bit. Enjoy this. God damn you, Heat Man, you son of a fuck. You, you mother, okay, I got him. I got, oh wait, no, I'm firing the wrong way. That does not work, that does not work. Heat Man, you piece of, what the heck, Heat Man? Rock bottom that heat man. S suck it, heat man. Suck it. I'm gonna do my Jimmy dance that Tim told me I do. Pucker your butt, clench your fist, stare upward, and do this. Mm. Do the Jimmy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that great? Oh, I feel like Jock Club Bad Dab down there. Give it a good old, good old slap there. Yeah. Ah yeah. Okay. Why that worked out great? I got equipped with uh, with the uh, item hyphen one. Look like I'm ASU colors almost for a second there. Thank you. We did it. We did it, everybody. Yeah, I'm holding control, but we did this because without your support, I'd probably ball in a corner and just turn off this game long ago. So we did it together. Shake that bubble butt. Oh my. That is. That is. Actually, sorry I'm not a sexy lady right now, or that would be very cool right now, but no, I'm just a nerd, and that's why I'm shaking my bubble butt. Shaking it. Katie, where are you? Just kidding. I would not force Katie to shake her, her delightful booty on the screen. She probably would kick my butt. And she'd be like, that's, that's for you. She wouldn't say it like that, but, you know. It's her choice. Yes, one of the best themes coming up. Well, one of my favorite themes is coming up in this next level. Here it is! Alright, everyone, I'm going to bust up the game audio right now. Thank you, Dobosmeet, for hosting the stream. You're the best. And that's Jeff Goldblumer, but ah, ah, ah. Ah. Okay, that song is really awesome, but right now let's uh, let's get right to it. I'm taking a swig. Put that can down. All right, we're on Dr. Wiley stage. I am going to do the following. I am going to save. <clears throat> the game only gives you one slot per game, apparently. I guess on. Um, if you want to know how you could own six very good classic OG Mega Man games, you could get a Nintendo. Which, heck, if you want it, if you want a really OG, that's the way to go. But on uh, the 3DS, the PS4, and the Xbox One, they have the Mega Man Legacy Collection. This game was really was originally 30 bucks. I'm betting you it's probably even less than that. Goddamn! Unless you just don't like fun, 
or if you just really don't know, or, you know, it's a nostalgia thing too, I guess, then you don't have to get this game. But I really highly recommend this game. It's a good one to get. That, of course, uh, Mr. Forgotten recommends it, and I will get the game eventually myself. Another nostalgic pick is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Insane in the membrane! Which is a game I need to pick up, so... I trust Mr. Spark on 516. I trust him! I trust everyone, pretty much. I trust all the way button army, pretty much. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you know what I mean. But thank you, Dopus Meme, again, for that host. That is very awesome. There's a current, there's a current, uh, Mr. Forgot says that there's a current WWE wrestler who has a remix of this song as his theme. What? Okay, first off, I have to admit something. It's a dirty secret. I have not seen WWE for quite for a little bit of time. I feel bad to say that. Life life has been a little busy, and uh, I haven't been watching much WWE. And, of course, my homie, my partners in crime, Brian and Nate, who are huge into it as well, are not around me. So it kind of loses its zest when you don't have homies to share it with, in my experience. I, I'm, I'm probably wrong on this. But that's the thing. And, um, oh, I done fucked up. See, the thing about the Dr. Wallace stage is you need to use your items sparingly to get to the next level. And I think I just, I think I just kind of messed up. Uh, let me, um, re, restart. Oh. Alright, let's do that. Uh, which Kurt Rustler uses this song as a remix to Mr. Scrawn? I'm curious. I want to see this myself. That's, that's really awesome. I, if I was a wrestler, I would totally do the same thing. But yeah, I'm going to be embarrassed to say I haven't watched wrestling for a while. I should be. That's a thing that should be done. I should get Katie to it. That's the problem. I think that's what... Well, I don't want to say that's the problem, but... I think one of the things right now is... Um, she's not so big into it. Don't hate her. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to be like, Yo, let's go watch... Let's go watch this. Right now! Look it up. His name is TJ Perkins. Oh, I'm going to look it up. Actually, I might look it up at the end of the stream on the phone. We'll get a little, a little weird here and see what I think about it. Because that's pretty awesome. TJ Perkins, everybody. The Perks. That's pretty awesome, though. If You you know what? I'm going to ask this out there to everyone that's watching. Um, and this is going to be... Um, I guess a weird question, but whatever. It's a stream, right? I asked. I ask what I want to ask. Okay, I am curious, uh, not bi curious. So the question is, if you could have a wrestling theme, what would your wrestling theme be? Is would it be what current song would you like to use? What video game theme would you want to use? Or, or if you don't really know, but you know you like rap, even just say, hey, I like my song to be a rap jingle by myself. That could be an answer as well. But what would your wrestling theme song be? I'm curious. I am curious. You know what my theme song would be? What? Come on, the Terminator theme song, you dumb dumb. Oh yeah, of course. You know I was there when Triple H was in WrestleMania and he was all Terminator out to fight the Sting. And I said, you be terminated. That's what I want to do for me, but I would always win. Okay? The Rock's older theme, Mr. So Far Gone. If you could smell what The Rock is cooking, that theme... That theme is awesome, okay? Because when you heard it, it's it you you just know some badass stuff is gonna happen. The Rock, I love the River the Rock Osako connection. Those are those are, that's my favorite period of wrestling was the Attitude Era. I mean, of course, it's the period that I grew up with. Um, I mean, I grew up a little bit with the uh, you know the superhero era as well and Hulk Hogan, Macho Man. Don't get me wrong, but man, I. My, my wrestler was Stone Cold Steve Austin. I know that's probably the most generic answer to say. But goddamn, when you heard that glass break, you know, you know he's gonna pull, you don't know, he's gonna pull out and fuck up with Vince McMahon's God knows what that time. If you, if you know, you know. If you give him the hell, yeah. Alright, so. But the Rock Soldier theme. Baller. Baller! Baller, son. All right, so let's see. How could I get up here? God damn it. Nope. Jesus Christ. Okay, what does two do? Okay. Got it. All right. 
you have to start, so basically you have to start using your items to go across the levels. And these things are almost limited, as you can tell, just you need to get energy cells to fill them. So it comes a pain in the ass if you don't have them, or you don't use them properly, to pass levels. Basically is what happens. You know there was a really good um, version of this song too from Mega Ran. He has a song called Dr. Wily and it's a really good like uh, rap remix version of this theme that I would highly recommend as well. Um, if you're feeling like getting a little nice gaming slice going on with some badass lyrics. Okay, so... Shoot! Done messed up. Excuse me, people. Excuse me. I had to belch. That's what happens when you drink pop. Oh, fudge! Okay, that's what number two does. Sends out a red rocket. Yeah, my red rocket. Puts my ear. Yeah, yeah. Puts that ass. That ass. That ass. All right, so let's do this again, okay? One, one, one. Shoot my shoots. Well, kiss my grits. Uh, let's hope I have enough energy bar to do this again. This is, this is, God, I used to have this down. This is what's frustrating, I used to have this, like, part. Damn! Oh, there you go. Good. Woo! Hope I don't need to use one again for a while. Here we go. Let's switch to the P. Give the P. And uh, let's see what happens here. Booker T. Actually, I, I met a wrestler at a con. At Phoenix Comic Con, Jake the Snake was there. I'm not kidding you. He was there at uh, Phoenix Comic Con and actually said a few words with not like anything too crazy or something like that, but it was really cool to, to see the guy in person. Hmm. <clears throat> Talking about wrestling. Oh, here we go. Oh! Well, here we go, apparently I'm dead. Hopefully I keep... Let's see. Oh my god, you lose. I forgot, you actually you actually keep the status of how this, the powers were before. So I might actually be f fucked. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. Let's switch to one, because I'm going to use one. Refill one. There you go. Alright. Alright, I accomplished my primary goal, which was to kill the main bosses, so at least that is out of the way. I could I could I could sleep in peace tonight saying, oh I beat those guys. We got a little trick I'm doing there. Look at that. Just a pixel high enough to kill him, but pixel low enough not to get hit by his bullets. That's how you game the game, okay? And that's what it was back in the day. It's not really cheating. I wouldn't call it cheating. I you know, just that's how you game the system sometimes. Okay. Alright, let's pull out that one. Wanda! Damn it! Okay. I swear I pressed X, but apparently he didn't jump. Mm. God, you, you probably busted everyone's ears out with that yell. Probably did. Let's hope I have enough to do this. Or I'm gonna be pissed off. I think I done messed up. I think I might have to restart the level, unfortunately. Um, cause I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I don't. I don't have enough to do another one. I I don't. Shit. The first, the second one does a rocket, but that's not high enough. I don't think so. And then the third one, you throw something. If it doesn't hit a ground, it does not go up. So. Maybe I do this one like a little like that. They can't launch another one, so yeah, I have to. I have to unfortunately do a restart. Okay. As much as I hate doing that, it's gotta happen. Otherwise, you just basically kill yourself at that point. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't want to watch you guys. I don't want to see you guys. I don't want you guys to witness me do a spooko, pretty much. No Mega Man spooko going on right now. P. 
key here. God dang it. I'm, I'm running into stuff. This is not this is not grade A gameplay right here. Oh my god. They kind of blend with the ground. <laughs> that then you're blind too. Well, yeah, but still, like. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Haha. <laughs> I think they got Oh, that little thing thought it got me, but too slow! Alright, Mr. Supergon says, we need to get you affiliated soon, James. Yeah, bro, I want to give you bits. Damn. That's true. I need to get affiliated. Well, first off, I need to start streaming more regularly. Sorry for the last few weeks of uh, streams. Things have been crazy with school slash uh, friends and girlfriend's family and all that stuff. But hopefully now I can do some more streams. So that's what's something I need to do on my part, of course. And I think I need a regular number of viewers, too. But you know what? Whether I get affiliated or not, I still have fun streaming. And this Saturday, I'm hoping to do a marathon to raise support for St. Jude's. And uh, if it happens, I, I I hope it happens. And if it does, you know, if I do get affiliated, that'd be great. Um, but don't worry, I'm not going to be begging for bits. You know, I love the thought and gesture, don't get me wrong. Um, so thank you for for uh, for that. Yeah. You basically just rambled that out. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, okay, seriously? All right, let's hope this... No! I, I, I could have swear I should have jumped. But thank you for the thought, and uh, and um, I really hope we could get affiliated, but if not, if not, or whatever, let's... It will be, but I'll, on my part, need to stream more often. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. All right, let's get up here. And if I could offer items for bits, I totally would do that. That's what I do need a range on my end. And um, definitely the proceeds will go towards the streaming. Worst case scenario, buying a game for the stream. <laughs> you won't see me running around the Lamborghini like, yo! Even though I don't see how that's even possible. Uh, but that's not what you're going to see. Okay? You got that? All that plus Comic-Con. Why did I say that? I don't know. I should call this a scatterband. Scatterbrain stream. Scatterband. Scat. Scatterband is what you see. I, I, if I could rename my channel, I'd just name it Scatterband. Scatterbrians. Scatterbrians. All right, here we go. The uh, notorious part where I have to do the number one and hope for hope the goud that we uh, we get this. Two. Ah. Mm. Ooh, taking a deep breath, everybody. Taking that deep old breath. And I fell. I fell. I just fell in your... Okay, let's do this. Boom. 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 Sweet baby Lord Jesus. I guess so you're going to see... I think you're going to see Sabuko James right now. Because I feel like... That E will come back. If it doesn't come back, then it was all for nothing. Kill me, bro. Kill me. I don't need to live right now. Thank you. Wait, that was game over? Well. I guess it didn't matter. Alright, here we go. Let's see if I could go through this. Just fine. Ah, you have to hit that egg right out of the sky before it falls down as it becomes... Plethora of little enemies that become more of a annoyance towards this Mega Man. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Silver God, with that word of courage. And I got this. You got this. I, I don't know if you're saying it like that, of course, but that's what I. That's why I, I hear my head. All right, P for pretzels. You're wondering what the P stands for. Stands for penis. No. Stands for power. Nintendo power. Ooh, look at those. Those two. Those two orbs almost look like boobs. Well, I was about to say something else, but okay. Look like boobs. Everything looks like boobs. Why don't you show more boobs in the stream? I think that's not allowed on Twitch. And I probably would get banned. Well, if you show more boobs, you probably get more followers and get affiliated and get the bits. Well, I, I, I wouldn't show them. You know. I don't want to, you know, I would get banned, you know what I'm saying? Ah! If it was up to me, there'd be more titties. 
Yeah, there would be a lot of other stuff too. I don't know if we want to go down that route, Arnold. Alright, got the number one out. Alright. Okay, cool. Not gonna lie, I'm a little hungry right now. Just so you know... It's almost, I feel like a sim. I'm letting you guys know my personal emotional state right now. Alright, let's uh, switch to one. Because we need that one. Boom. One Max out that one, alright? Let's max it out. This guy, right? Oh, this is the guy that killed me. Oh, the, the E wasn't with this guy. Was, the E was with the other guy. Now I feel like a dumb, dumb Dugan. This song is pretty badass, though. Ooh, Mr. Sforgan just made some cheesy eggs. Man, Mr. Sforgan, are you trying to make me g -Lows? Oh, Mr. Sforgan's really making me g -Lows. I'm jealous. Damn, that sounds good. Damn, that sounds so good right now. God! Mm, almost as good as me making that ladder. Alright. This game is about pain. I think what I need to do is go as far as I can. Hold on. Dang it. A little too far out. A little too far out. Ski dee 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 Ski. There you go. Boom. 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 Yes! Woo! Oh, just a tad? <laughs> oh, I'm mega jealous. Mega g louse. Alright, I passed that ladder with the power of thought of cheesy eggs. Purely the thought of cheesy eggs made me pass that part. You know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of... A little bit of... I don't, I don't know. I feel cheaty, but that's a save. Right there. I, I, there we go. You totally... You totally messing up, dude. You're not playing it like it should be played. No saves. Oh, whatever, Arnold. Sometimes you... It's the old man crutch! And I paid. Karma just kicked my ass and made sure I died. Oh, fuck. Wait. It it put me right before the... The dragon? <laughs> Try to do that Christmas rocket again. You stupid bastard. Uh, uh, kind of a moon. It's a, it's a good crystal rocket. Oh, good, good. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, the, 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 di the dinosaurs? Dinosaurs? Oh, I finally, um, I do have an announcement to make if you, uh, for all those that are in the know. So I'm going to Comic Con, and the big thing was talking about what should I do as a cosplay. And the talks were, of course, Jeff Goldblum and Slave Leia and Satama for One Punch Man, to name just a few things. My girl Katie, my beautiful lady Katie, is going to be Anna from Overwatch, and she got her gun and all this stuff. It looks awesome. Me and Tim came up with what I'm going to cosplay as, and it is none other than 1980s Freddie Mercury, because it was in anime and stuff like that, as weird as that sounds, in his Flash outfit, where he's right on top of Darth Vader. So I'm going to have Darth Vader helmet in front of my gonads. I'm going to have a Flash shirt on, some tight, short, leather black pants, and I'm going to be Freddie Mercury with the stash, with the microphone, and I'm going to basically try to sing some Queen songs. I'll be like, I want to break free. Yep, I know it's weird. It's weird. But I think it's going to work out just fine. Just like I just passed that ladder again. Suck it. Ladder. But yes. If you're wondering, yes, it's the most random idea ever. But me and Tim came up with it. I'll be singing Killer Queen and a few other things at the San Diego Comic Con. Hopefully it'll work out just fine. <clears throat> People will probably be like, what the hell is this guy? And I'm going to be like... I'm Freddie Mercury! He does not talk like that. Freddie Mercury actually was British. He probably talks like this. And Mr. Forgotten approves. Which makes me happy. Alright, let's let's not die. Let's not die, everybody. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck was that? That fireball literally knocked me off the pla platform. My god. Alright, everybody. You know what they say, when you're hungry, not you. Here's what's gonna happen. James is gonna grab something to eat. He's gonna grab some Triscuits. I'm gonna eat Triscuits. Smoke. Gouda Triscuits. I don't care. This is gonna this is gonna be me. Ah. It's 
not like a yuppie Sam eating Triscuits, but Triscuits are... Triscuits are good. You know the smoked Gouda ones? They're fucking bomb. Alright. You're gonna hear me... You're gonna hear me eat and play games. I don't... I care a little bit, but still. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I need some gingins. You're right. <laughs> that too. I sh I I'd be good for a Michael Bay movie. I have a lot of product placement in my streams. Just realized that. Alright. Let's see if I have enough of this uh, one to do it. One love! Hmm. GGX sounds really dope, though. Just want to say that again. Okay. One more twist grip. One more twist grip. Okay. I got that down, man. I made that little segment my my uh, figurative bitch. Mm. Basically, my I have to figure out what I'm gonna eat for my marathon. I know it sounds weird, but that's the thing. Like it's 12 hours, a bro. I gotta eat, so I have to make sure I have food on hand. Maybe eat some cereal or something like that. You guys are gonna watch me eat. Oh, mm. if there's anything you recommend for a marathon to eat. Let me know. Mm, I'm open to suggestions. Okay. I'm playing while holding a Triscuit. This is happening. Pizza, bro. That's... <laughs> hell yeah. I'm gonna order some pizza. Get some effing delicious pizza for, for Marathon. Okay, this is... I need to pause. I, I'm... I, Get some Papa John's Red Bud and Jam Fest Pizza with the Rockster Brownies. Of course. Okay. I just want to point it out. Oops, wrong one. We're not done yet. This stuff is, is super freaking dope. I don't care. It may not be potato chips, but this stuff's freaking good. Just want to say that. It's freaking fantastic. Mm. Okay. Back to the game. Nope. Fuck you. No. Now am I making you G louse, Mr. Silver Gun? <laughs> With the Triscuits? Oh, and if you're wondering, Puff the Magic Dragon, I just fucked him up. <laughs> that just happened. All to the power of Triscuits. Mm. Okay. Talk about my biggest fans. <laughs> Please kill me now. Shut up, Arnold. <clears throat> you told me to shut up. Pearl, you're eating Triscuits too. Oh my god. I just made you a little G-Louse too. Oh my god. Wait. Let me check my phone. I'm sorry. Make sure, um... Katie, um... Want me to bring some of the first for dinner tonight? I think I have all the fruit. Katie's asking if she wants me to bring, uh... Some leftovers for food tonight, because leftovers from yesterday. We had leftovers from the food yesterday, so I'm going to say, heck yeah. I would love that, because I don't care. Leftovers are tasty. I mean, they're tasty leftovers, right? All right, back to the game. And here's the Jersey Shore fist pumper dudes. Go back to Jersey. That's what I yell out to these guys. Go back to Jersey. Oh, Okay, thank God. Oh, this sleep sock's gonna be great at our braids, but pizza sounds like a great idea. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Ivan. 
<clears throat> and Mr. Silver God. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so basically, I'm going to go with number two, which is the red rocket. Um, okay, it's working so far. Oh, right. Oh, shoot. So what, what would go through this? Oh, God, what goes through that? Okay, cool. Those bombs do. Yay! You're the bomb! Ha 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 ha! You tell me about Lisa! <clears throat> oh, that's funny, Mark. Oh, hi, doggy. <clears throat> that's my time with So, if you're wondering. He's a guy that did the terrible movie called The Room, if you're also wondering. Okay. Take these guys out. Take them out. Take them out. Hold on one second, peeps. Oh, my buddy. Oh, my buddy here. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Whew. Can I jump far enough? Let's see if I could. There we go. I don't want to really use up my abilities if I don't have to. We're gonna take the dive. out of here. Take these things out of here. Okay, here we go, here we go. The chomp chomps. These things you've probably also seen Castlevania. <laughs> you know it's a different company, but you always see kind of like that type of element. I'm using number three. Ooh, I made it. Oh! Oh god, please! Oh come on! Alright, cool. I'm near death, but apparently I passed that one, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Falls down right when you're at it. Part of these two, too. Oh, shoot. Okay, let me see if I can recharge number three, because that's very essential right now. I think the problem is that if you don't have enough for your powers, it becomes kind of a an issue, per se. Especially with these levels of Dr. Y, it really drives home using the the one, two, three items <clears throat> so much. Oh, yes, I'll take the extra life. Yes, man! Alright, let's go across this. This is where the pain, the struggle becomes real. Shoot. Ooh, I made it. I don't have a lot of health left, that's a problem, but... <sighs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, I made it just right. Just enough pixels not to die. Alright, oh, who am I gonna counter now? Who needs to die? I don't know. Oh, shoot. This is a stage that comes apart. And I'm dead. Where does it put me? How far back does it put me? That's the biggest question. Okay. You guys have to go across those things again. Which, of course, what does not regenerate is your abilities. Yay! 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 What? Little John? Yay! Aren't you an often imitated man? Yay! Yay! Alright, so... Oh, 
At least these things give you a lot of items, so that's, I guess that is good. Like, I just filled up my three, which is what I think I need for this part. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't know. What we gotta go with, right? This is what we, it's what we have to deal with, people. Down. Probably gonna fall out right now. Shoot! No! Damn it. Damn it, buddy! Let's switch to P. P for power! Did it, did it, did it. Got that part down, surprisingly. That's a surprise to me. Probably surprise everybody too. Ew. Alright. Damn it! I, I was trying to get over to that side because there is a E canister on the right side. But even if you can touch the side of a spike, you're you're done. You're done. That's 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 the end of your story. Good day, sir. You're out. I'm just manning my way through it, getting some uh, pickups. <clears throat> That's all I can really do. Alright, let's do this. Oh boy, okay. Got hit by the basic one. This one is, this one I find it to be the hard one, just cause you get knocked off real easily. Get knocked back into your little limbo of using number three. Number three! All right, so let's see what we got here. Damn it! Oh gosh. Uh, Mega Man 2. I had to pick Mega Man 2. Just kidding. We all love Mega Man 2. We all love Mega Man 2. Alright, here we go again. Do I, do I even, no, I don't have an E canister, which will refill your health. Nope. 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 Mm -hmm. No! Oh, boy. Okay, well. Alright, everybody. The thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this again. Say this might be my last go though, because uh, dinner time is fast approaching. And my girl's out of lab. The lady. So. I did enjoy playing this so far. Don't get me wrong. So, oh, shoot. Thankful, thankful, thankful for that uh, invincibility you get when you get hit. Alright, let's get that number two out before I get effed up by the Jersey Boys. Bye! I'm just chilling on my rocket. Ooh, almost missed that. Almost missed it. But not quite yet. Let's go back to my ability here, the Crash Man ability. Which apparently he does bombs. It's the bomb. Bob Biggity. A lot of little health things for that. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. This theme song is going to be drilled in my head. That's for sure. If there's one thing for certain, this one theme song is going to be in my head. Oh, I got a life up there. That's that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, God. Just keep pressing that square button. Oh, God. Just man through. I'm just manning through it. Probably not the best strategy, but just what's got to go. All right. Go up three. I hate this thing right here so much. I hate that thing so much. You guys don't know how much how much hate I have for that. A lot. He has a lot, everybody. He has a lot. All 
All right, there you go. Woo! Ah. Oh. Alright, now I know that the bottom one does go away. So we really want to pay attention to that. So it starts off with those. Kind of more basic. Oh, shoot. Ooh, gotta watch out. God! That gee whiz! Oh, so focused, so focused. I don't think I, have, I, I don't think I got any of those little uh, energy bar dealios for number three, but well, at least I got enough for it. It looks like so. Let's hope that uh, this thing doesn't done mess me up. All right, there we go. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I got, I got this. Wise words of Mr. Silvergon. Let's do this. Alright. Jesus. Well, I got a little more health than I did before at this part. So that's... That's promising? That's a promising thing? Promising. Oh, dang. I almost fell on those spikes there. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little... Yes, I'm doing that. I'm doing it. You guys probably caught what I did. Keep this our secret! Shh. Alright. I wanna hug you! No! Ooh, that was close. Very close. Oh damn, that was close. I feel like these things are getting a little faster too. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Okay. Jesus Christ. Christmas tree. So close to being done. So close to being done. Oh wow, we did it! That was a lot of flashing. If you're prone to seizures, it may have got you. Woo! We did it! Ah yeah! That means I get to do just pucker your butt, clench your fist, bend the knees, look up, Jimmy Show. Jimmy Show. Do the Jimmy. We did it. Oh, that's right. Andy dryer slash Chris Pratt down there I did it okay what time is it okay Woo. actually you know what let me do this let me save the game this might be a good spot to stop off at just because of what's coming up so it might be a good idea to stop right here everybody let me uh, put a little let's change it up Oh, now it's way, way more me on the screen than you probably want. All right, everybody. Well, thank you, Mr. Sovargon. Ivan, the dopest meme for watching today. Let me adjust this a little bit so you guys could. Yeah, my hair is crazy. That's when I get frustrated with this game. I just go like this the whole time. So that's why I was, you know, wanting it not to make it so you guys don't see me as much. And so you don't see a lot of this. I want to thank uh, ooh, this side right here. Arnold, Jeff Goldblum, and even Ray Romano for being a part of the stream as well. You guys could check out more of this stuff on youtube.com slash redbunjamfest. You can follow me also on Twitter and Instagram and our Facebook page as well. I want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, there might be another stream between now and Saturday, but if not, uh, I do want to say that this Saturday at noon Eastern time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific time, I'm going to start doing a 12-hour Rarathon 2 stream to raise support and awareness for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. You could go straight to the side to donate, or you could go through the link and donate. 100% proceeds go towards the care of those kids and towards important research on all gamuts and different types of cancer. So um, I just want to give a big shout out for that, uh, for the cause as well. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, what I do want to end off is I did mention I want to look up this uh, wrestler, this new WWE wrestler that has a remix of that theme known as TJ Perkins. And I am very curious what that is. So I'm going to pull it up on my phone because best, best high quality production values here on this Twitch channel. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, and also big call, call out to the dopest meme 
for the hosting as well. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. All right, let's look up. Let's look it up. T. J. Perkins theme. Oh, that's actually one of the first things that came up. T. J. Perkins theme. All right, let's find out what's going to happen here. Phone. That was weird. Okay. Here we go, TJ Perkins theme. It says eight months ago. Hopefully this is this is hopefully this is the one you're talking about. What he stands to? Los Angeles, California, weighing 175 pounds. He is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Oh shit! Jay Here's a young man who, at 13 years old, starting to learn the wrestling industry. Hey, he's Cruiserweight too. That's my best type of wrestling. He would uh, get a buddy to drive him down the I-5, about two and a half hours south of Los Angeles, across the border into Mexico. Wow. That's badass. That is absolutely badass. Jesus Christ. I'm an Insta fan. That is awesome. First off, I like the luchador type of style or cruiserweight division of wrestling. He has that. That freaking screen would cover the screen. All 8-bit style. Amazing. He dabbed. He dabbed. And that song was pretty badass. Wow. Okay, big call out to TJ Perkins. Uh, that was uh, pretty awesome. I need to watch some of those matches and see how that carries out because that is really cool. Holy shit. TJ Perkins. I, I, it's probably not going to appear so well on the screen, but um, that is awesome as well. Ooh, what's going on, Phil? Advertisements. I don't want advertisement on my stream unless I'm plugging away. Triscuits. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for joining. Have a good rest of the day. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for uh, taking as much time as you can to watch this. Whether you're lurking, whether you're kicking butt at work, whether you're, you know, balling out. It's always appreciated. So, love you guys. Have a great day. If I don't see you guys uh, before, between now and Saturday, wish you all the best. I'll probably maybe do another random cash stream, hopefully. Uh, goodbye. I'm going to stop this right now.